Welcome back to the highest podcast in the motherfucking world. <laughs> Highland Culture. <laughs> y'all know what the fuck it is, but in case y'all forgot, I am your host, Lee. Hey, clap for me, bitch. Get me lit. Because I'm here to get y'all lit today. And joining me are two of my closest friends, beginning with my rapper homeboy, Phoenix! <laughs> Yo. Perfect. What's the motherfucking word? Not a motherfucking thing, and yes, we do listen to his music. Thank you. And Rara! Hey, what the fuck is going on? How the fuck are y'all today? <laughs> I'm good. Right, right. One of the funniest white dudes Why I fucking know. Spicy. He's also he's also the spiciest white nigga I know. Extra spicy. Extra fucking spicy. Yeah. What was we talking about right before the uh, pod? Oh yeah, oh yeah. When it comes to eating ass, you can't go right into it. You cannot. That cannot be your go-to move. I understand eating ass. Eating ass is disgusting. But if you down there eating eating the shit out of some puss, listen, some puss. It's, it's it's green beans to a to a steak and potatoes. You feel me? Like I'm 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 gonna get I'm gonna get around to it. If I see a green bean between a bitch's ass, if she if, <laughs> if she got me down there licking on her dingleberry, I wish the I, I right in no, her kidney. You can't. You can't. Oh, hit, yo, that's on. gonna make her shit. Oh shit! But I'm just saying, if mm-hmm. eating ass mm-hmm. can't be your that can't be your go to Phoenix. That's what we travel we were trying to tell you. Yes, it's I'm not. It's not, I'm not, a, well, not the, <laughs> it's not. Try it out, man. Try it I'm out. The one, I'm not the one. <laughs> try, it, try it out before you fucking I'm not, judge it. I'm, I'm not. Gosh. Yo, I mean, it's an acquired taste. It's yeah, an acquired for sure. Taste. It's not. A, it's not a taste I'm looking to acquire. It's like it's like tasting Cajun or it's like tasting like Dominican food or you know Chinese food. Listen, once you go crack, you don't go back. Yeah, once you yeah once <laughs> you go crack, you never go back. Oh man, this That's... nigga here! I told you he was the spiciest nigga I'm talking. Cause when you down there eating some pussy, like the anus it's is just staring happen, you right in the face. Stand, like the ass is right there. You might as well, you know, get down, get down to it. I don't recommend it if y'all had tacos that night, though. Definitely don't do that. I'm, I'm good. Bitches like their ass to be played with. That's why they. That's why they. They, they, they ate for real. He said. Yeah. Whoa. But my apologies, yeah. guys, for starting to show off like that. We were just having. We, a, we were having a heated debate. I had to debate. get that out. We were having a heated ass eating debate and we were trying to explain to phoenix that it is not that bad of a of a thing and you got your woman in your life like you got the love of your life so oh, yeah i mean oh yeah i'm not eating ass oh yeah you in the you in the butt <laughs> no oh you oh you oh you oh you spelunking right you're gonna be you're gonna do nah. some spelunking. that's gonna be that's eventually gonna be your butt buddy so. nah, 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 that's nah, your wife nah. nigga that's your wife you mean tell no. me your wife is not gonna sit on your face no not not for that if, if she's still on your face you might as well eat her ass that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Have you ate her chode or whatever that's called? What? Oh, come on. All right. I'm what the this. fuck is chode? Oh, stop. It's, what it's, it's the, the skin between your, uh, your, your. The gooch? That. Yeah, the chode. It's a white boy name, I think. That's Nigga, why. I say gooch. Chode, gooch, gooch. The space between your ass and your nuts, that's, that's the gooch, nigga. Well, if, I hope she doesn't have nuts, but. Right. <laughs> that part. That fucking part. That part. That fucking. Part. That fucking part. Shout out to the Holly <laughs> Culture Click tuning in to each and every episode, each and every week. Oh yeah. Shout out to y'all. Oh man. Hey, y'all could be listening to anything else in the world, but y'all chosen chosen to listen to us. We appreciate and apologize uh to you. A uh, shout out to the new listeners, shout out to the non-listeners, shout out to the podcasters. And, and and niggas creating content on motherfucking line, nigga. Hey, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all, nigga. We all trying to fucking get on. Be influential. Be motivational. Absolutely Don't be lame. Absolutely, man. Free Britney Grinder. Free that nigga Pooh Shiesty. <laughs> Are we saying free uh, YNMLE? Or whatever the fuck his name is. Are I'm, we? I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that. It, I, I saw somewhere he... Listen... We talked about this on a pod before. I was t- and I asked that question. I was like, should we should is, is we Is he gonna be free? Huh? Is he gonna be free? He he put out a he put out a tweet or a, He said I'll be uh, home within the next yeah. year. Yeah, he said he'd be home within the next few years or something like that. So, so are y'all gonna eat our word? Like, but at the same time, he's been he's been saying that. Yeah, he he's has been saying, Oh, I'm on my way out. 
But I cause, never. Because that's what everybody who who's in jail said. Yeah, I honestly never really listened to YNW Melly music like Murder that. Murder on be, my mind. That one to invest it. I never listened to it. I'm not gonna be fake and sit here and you know scream free YNW Melly and I never listened to that nigga music. Otherwise, I'd just be pandering to you never some heard shit that. that I don't fuck with. <coughs> I think she got mixed personality. I never heard that. What was the what was the uh is that one of his songs? I never heard that. That's the only one I Yeah, that shit go. That shit was cool. That's the only one I ever heard. There's like two or three songs I've 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 all right. When the pod is over, I'll make sure to uh look that shit up. He's alright. Be cool. But he might be a murderer, so uh that there's that too. I am I'm good on it. As long as it's not like a yeah, I don't. I really listen to why. I just not to be disrespectful. It's a kid. It's a lot of kids. You remember? Remember we had that discussion. Who? Who would you, who do y'all listen to that you think is a hot take? I think the hotter take is who don't you listen to? Who don't I listen to? Who don't I listen to? That I mean, you think is and 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 my and my and, and my answer to that is I don't listen to NBA young young fucking boy like that. He's not like in my constant rotation. He's not in my rotation. Oh damn. He's not in my constant constant rotation. Like there's a few songs, you know, some shit that he featured on, but he's not in my constant rotation. I like albums from him. I'm Full be honest, I've never played. Any like NBA Young Boy track willingly on my own. That's wild. I don't listen to J Cole like on a daily basis. J Cole at all. I don't listen to J Cole. J Cole pops up when he's on somebody else's song that I listen to. Yeah, that's what J Cole pops up in my life. Oh God, nigga, I don't listen to Yeet. Game. You don't listen to Game. I don't like Game. Yeet. I don't understand that. Mm, I don't listen to that nigga. Um, it's a lot of niggas. Little baby. I don't. His That's singles, crazy. when his singles his drop, singles. His little, singles. Little baby but is, I do not opinion. rush to download his album. But I fuck with him as a person. He, yeah, I he, fuck with little baby. Yeah, I fuck with little baby. So, little baby, so, little baby, yeah. be out here snapping. He doing his motherfucking thing. He doing his yeah, thing. He going show. crazy. But I don't run to his music, and maybe that's because I'm because I'm an old ass nigga out here nowadays. I think that I liked little baby's music on its own, but right before he blew blew up. I mean, he got I've he had the Drake that. record. I did listen to a, a couple of projects he he had since that Drake feature on Yes Indeed, and they were great. I thought they were great. Oh god. Um I think Lil Baby, yeah, he definitely he in my rotation for sure. Yeah, I'm checking like, I'm checking for Lil Baby. Yeah, I'm not true. checking for Gunna personally. Really? I'm not I'm not going out of my way. Never. To to I'm Gunna. never checking he'll, for he'll Gunna. He'll hit my rotation for some some of the records he's done, but oh, I Oh, y'all niggas have, ain't P. Probably not. You niggas are not P. He ain't even P. I don't have wow. thug in my rotation either. He ain't P. Why you say he ain't P? He, he, he got that slain. I don't, I don't have a uh, young thug in my rotation. Well, are we passing these? I don't know. I'll just keep I'll face him. Just face it. Pause. Don't, like, add a pause behind that. Pause. You're not facing anything on this pod other than you, got, you have to be specific about what you face. I'm facing this blunt, my friend. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to facing this blunt. Oh my god. Yeah, man. Y'all been catching up on these motherfucking playoffs. Bang! 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 It's good. Oh yeah, of course. You know I'm like John Moran jumping out the fucking gym. Yeah, no, they, I mean they down <coughs> to they I mean it's uh the series is tied. I ain't gonna lie, that the the I think that the Memphis Grizzlies are a pretend two seed. See because they can barely beat the Timberwolves and the nah. Timberwolves are seven seed. But the Timberwolves also Blew that fucking lead too. Two of them. Two of them. They blew two 20 plus point fucking leads in game three That's what in I'm Minnesota. How? They How? Just, I don't know. I don't know. They, uh, that nigga, um, Carl Anthony Town, we had eight points in what, that game. What, what, what homeboy tweet after he was like, oh, we in Minnesota? Yeah, he, he said that shit during the game. They had that nigga mic'd up. Oh, we in Minnesota now? We in Minnesota now? And, and Desmond Bain. Proceeded to fucking bust they ass. And then John Moran tweeted out, "Shouldn't have been we talking in Minnesota shit. now." We in Minnesota, exactly. Man. We in that's Minnesota. That shit was funny. Yeah, and the playoffs I'm, are going great so far. The playoffs is in good fucking hands, bro. I've seen a lot of people saying that that specific phrasing of it that the NBA is in good hands now. And I mean, I agree. I think there's a lot of great talent out there. I just think it's a funny saying that yeah. everybody keeps saying. That what? That the NBA is in good hands now. Like this, this feels like a fucking All State commercial. I've, I've seen so many people say that. Is what I'm saying. Oh, but, it sounds so. It sounds so cliche. That basically, yeah. it's so cliche. Everybody's fucking saying that oh, NBA yeah, is in NBA's good in good hands now. I mean, when you think about, I mean, like, yeah, because like, yeah, I got that from the same commercial. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, because I mean, to be honest with you, do y'all give a fuck that LeBron is not in the playoffs? No. Yes, the fuck. Ah, uh, no, I don't give a fuck. 
Good. Y'all give a fuck that he, he, he's, he, he, he's, he's gonna that. explain in a whole paragraph on how he doesn't give a fuck. So go ahead, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm just saying. A whole paragraph. I'm just saying it's go more ahead. interesting without him here. Really? <laughs> yeah, these teams are scrapping because they really got a shot. Mm, takes that's team. really what it is. It 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 does. But add I thought, a lot of parody. But I thought LeBron doesn't keep anyone from the playoffs. I mean, he's getting mad. People uh, got rings on LeBron. A lot of niggas got rings on LeBron. So what are you saying though? KD got two of the motherfuckers. Steph but got you three. still got to go through LeBron to get it, right? And that's a fact, right? LeBron and LeBron is more in the finals more often than he's not. Mm-hmm. Duh, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's so, all, and that's always he's never yeah. not in the finals. Right. <laughs> he's he always whether it be on the east well, or the west. Last year. He's never not in the finals. Right. Last whether, year. Right. Whether you've been on the east or the west, nigga, you you had to go through uh LeBron to yeah. get to the to the finals. And um what is up with these uh these fucking females rushing the court? Fucking and chaining themselves to the hoop and getting tackled, fucking man by security. What are they doing it for? Like, is there a reason? Is there a purpose? What's the protest here? Animal What's rights. That? Yeah, the first. Yeah, the first. First two. Um, yeah, the first one was uh, she glued her hand to the court. To the court. What are you for doing? For chicken rights. For for chicken rights. We out here fucking up too much chicken. At a Timberwolves. She trying to be at a Timberwolves game. She trying to be an, ex- gorilla, an ex gorilla glue girl. Right. Oh Bitch, you should have did that shit at the Hawks game. Right. Or something that, or, or else. some other bird fucking that made mascot. sense. You should have gone to like a bird convention and did you should have glued your head to the mascot's head. You would have got. I don't know. That's that was dumb. It's that's very just, dumb that's and it's very odd that this happened during the Memphis and Minnesota. It's happening in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, Minnesota fucking soda is turning into Florida. But why are they not seen as just crazy motherfuckers instead of all oh, their protesting? Because I because that is the biggest form of protest to fucking do some wild shit in broad daylight and broad sight for everybody to see. What'd you do this for? What'd you do this for, Karen? What'd you do this for? Didn't happen in Memphis as well. It happened in uh. It happened in Memphis. And in Minnesota. It happened in Memphis. Uh, I think the uh female um tied herself to the goalpost. Yeah. Uh, she chained herself like to the goalpost, like handcuffed herself. Like, where the hell the are you get a chain it from? Right. right. Where's and then, security? And then, and then, yeah. In the last two, uh, last two instances in uh, Minnesota, they had to tackle a bitch mid court. Oh my god. Where's, She's going crazy at the game. Where were they antennas at? Like, uh, you let a whole female get right. by you and jump on the court, like, and you get pissed off at Kyrie and why he not flipping these motherfuckers off. Fuck these fans. You're these not fans even, are wild. Right. You're not even you're not even protecting me. They got onto the court. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and you never know. And you never know what these motherfuckers is on, like running on this court. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always think about that. Like, it could be one of these moments, like, somebody gonna run on these court and like shoot some fucking body or stab yeah. somebody. Or what if or what if like one of the like the superstars try to play hero and they try to grab them real quick and they get That's injured? That's why them security niggas. That's why them security niggas immediately tackle the motherfuckers and players know better than to fucking get involved at all i don't know the right one in the nfl the right one. in the nfl you run your stupid ass on the court on, on the field you getting your ass laid out marshawn yeah. let, 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 let marshawn lynch you be on field they're waiting for that they're they waiting for that but um uh jordan pool jordan pool uh, so has been fucking balling it's a problem it's he a problem a they breathe problem. Problem. he is making sure that the warriors are a problem in the west Absolutely, hell yeah! Finals lies through. You gotta, you gotta go through the Warriors. Yeah, especially with Devin Booker uh, uh, nursing a, a hamstring injury. Absolutely. Um, mm, luckily, I think that we're gonna be all right. I think is it still y'all year? Yeah, we're still good. We're still good. We just gotta heal, heal up some injuries. That's fine. We, yeah. It's it's okay. It's, thankfully, it's not the same hamstring as last uh, the last time he got hurt. So it is a different hamstring, but. A I hammy. think that we're gonna be all right. A, ham, a hammy is a hammy, nigga. I know. Soft tissue. That's some soft tissue <laughs> injuries. They don't heal right away. It takes a while. You think that shit is healed, Rest. and you get your ass out there and pull some. Let's not forget that he did play He's, while injured last year with the same same injury. He did come back sooner than expected, mm. um, and still played through it and went to the finals. You better be in that cold chamber. So I won't be surprised if he comes Cryo back shit. earlier than we're anticipating. But I don't expect him back for the rest of this series. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be, and they're going to play as long as they can without him. And Phoenix has shown the next, uh, the next loss. That's when Devin Booker shows up. And Phoenix has shown that they can uh, win without Ke- uh, Devin Booker or Chris Paul. On Did the it all season. So they, 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 they are well. Uh, they, they deal with adversity very, very fucking well. Um, the Jazz, they blowing that shit up after yeah. this year. I don't see one of them niggas is gone. Somebody gotta go. 
Gobert or Donovan Mitchell is up out of there? Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. He I believe it should be Donovan Mitchell. He's going to want to leave. It should be, especially if that team has to rebuild. Yeah. If they have to rebuild, they got to get rid of this nigga, um, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. Because they're not going to have value. Right. While he has value, I don't know if they're, gonna, they're not going to get a whole lot for Rudy Gobert. But Rudy Gobert is that nigga when it comes to defensive he decent. bigs. In yeah, he, yeah, he decent for sure. Right. But at the same time, he's not an offensive threat. Yeah, he gets me blocks. He gets me rebounds. But he does, he's, not, blocks and rebounds. he's not an impact offensively. Where and we you, really need him. And you need a big man on offense in this league to be able to, to get points. Swim around these niggas. Need, dunk yeah, on score. these niggas. <laughs> yeah. Elbow these niggas. Yaka, you gotta barbecue think, fuck out my way. You got to think that was, that's been the main problem for a lot of people. The Bucks is, are, have big centers. And they out here, they out here oh, manhandling the bull. Yeah. The, the Bucks, Brooke Lopez, period, are, are big. Be honest, you got to have somebody who can get in there and bully those guys around. Yeah. Because Vucevic is not the answer because uh, the Bucks is beating the shit out the Bulls. Right. Beating the shit out of the Bulls. <laughs> Without Chris Middleton. Without, oh uh, yeah, he, he out for a couple of weeks. Yeah. With an MCL strain. So injuries are starting to, the injury Take bug is starting to rear its head. Take yeah. a toe. In the NBA. I think we need to that get That effort uh, level is going up. I think Scott Foster's earned himself a, a championship ring for making sure Chris Paul doesn't win a game against him. God mm. damn that. Oh, that rep? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that ref be yeah. on some bull fucking Crazy. shit. Scott Foster's a terrible ref. Yep. And then the Heat and the Hawks, that's turning into a good series. Yeah. That's turning into a real Hawks good series. Hawks are fighting series. back. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It's th- I'm, I'm starting to think that the Celtics might be the best team in the East. Because so? they're they about to... They about to they about to get, they about to damn near swept. They about to probably sweep the Nets. But this Nets, I expect that. I didn't expect a sweep, nigga. I not, a sw- not, a, not a what? sweep, but no I, one expected but like, that. They don't have enough. They don't have any depth, but beyond KD and Kyrie. Mm. I didn't see them winning this playoff. And, they, and for them to win, Kyrie and KD have to play every single minute of the game. Mm. They don't leave the floor. Yeah. And they get tired. And they don't have no fucking body else. Right. Nobody. Brown, ben Simmons not, he's not, not coming enough. back. Even, even with him, even with him been going off the last few games. That's still ain't enough. I and, think. And the last and the last few games, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, they haven't even been able to fucking score in the fourth, third and fourth, the second half of the game. Bums. Yeah. That nigga, Jason tired. Tatum, Jason Tatum is out here locking this nigga KD the fuck up, nigga. Has anybody thought that maybe Steve Nash is the problem? Yes. Think they're gonna let him go? They might. Steve Nash is just telling KD, you know, KD just go out there and just KD. Just do whatever you want to do. Just do whatever you want, buddy. Hey, buddy, go ahead. They it's, got out there running no sense. They got out there. It doesn't look like they just play ball. No, yeah, it's really just hey, go, go through your there, superstars. Who? Go, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Run the run the offense to your superstars. You got Blake Griffin and Deion and, and, and Lamarcus Aldridge on the bench, not even suited up for the fucking game. Yeah, Kyrie, just do your dribble thing. While Jalen Brown work, is fucking work, talking to KD, everybody. <laughs> Pass KD. <laughs> KD, be in a corner, will you? Kyrie, can't, Kyrie, you can't get your layup kick it to KD. KD, right. shoot your shot. Right. Because that's what you're going to do anyways. Yeah, man. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that um, but it's, possible that it's possible that Steve Nash, I, I, think that he, I think that he is going. He hasn't shown any ability to fucking coach. You have two superstars. You, got, you have yeah, Kyrie we thought and you be, have We KD. thought it would be better because he was a good player, but. I mean, you know, and maybe these motherfuckers don't listen to him too. You ever you ever think about that? Hey, they, hey, at the beginning of the season, they was like, "We don't need no fucking coach." Or like right before they hired Nash, they was like, "We don't need no fucking coach." Right, we'll, we'll just play. Yeah, and and then they hired fucking Nash. So, uh, I know we. I know. Did y'all see the Tyson Fury? Did y'all see Tyson Fury with that? Uh, Knock that motherfucker. With a with a with a with an easy ass right. It looked it too easy, too easy. And and when uh and like right before the fight or right before the fight, like a day before the fight, like they did this whole stare down and shit. And this nigga Tyson Fury tickled this what tickled the nigga that he like he tickled this nigga tickle tickle. And he let him <laughs> what and, like like yeah because like Tyson Fury a big goofy motherfucker yeah, right he is, yeah but he is he's he a little- goofy. Uh, you, I was. I just fight you. Yeah, this is for the. This is for the championship belt, nigga. You don't tickle me in front of people. You just let them tickle you and dance in front of you and shit. He said, "Gitchy, gitchy, gitchy." I knew he was. Yeah. Got your nose. <laughs> you knew he was right. Got you. He was scared. Yeah, I knew you was gonna lose, nigga. You let a nigga tickle you on at a stare down. He was so mind fucked by that. 
He said, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's sizing me up like some a goofy man shit. That will, that will, he's, is willing he's, to why are you so comfortable? Why Being why goofy and shit. Me? No, nigga, I'm fucking, no, nigga, I'm chopping you in your throat. Fuck, nigga, back the fuck up, nigga. He sent him a burger before the fight, a, a Whopper. He's like, here's a right. burger. Like, right. here, eat this shit. Like, like nigga, like, 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 I don't like that shit nowadays. These motherfucking athletes want to be friends and shit, nigga. No, you're supposed to go at these right. niggas, man. Don't, don't, don't. I don't care that you're comfortable. Fake right. that shit. Be right. pissed. Hey, right. don't be fucking tickling me and dancing with me. That's, and why, we, that's why we don't have that aggression no more. Yeah, these we, niggas we are damn, man. they damn near doing a kid and play dance at these fucking stare downs and shit now. Like, what are you doing, nigga? We need, we need that aggression, like Mike fucking Tyson and shit. Right. Right, nigga. Speaking of Mike Tyson, my nigga, did y'all, y'all know y'all been, I know y'all heard about this nigga Mike Tyson. Of course. Beating the shit out this motherfucker on this uh, plane. <laughs> he punched that little white dude so far. I mean, yeah, <laughs> fucking bullshit. This is George talking to Mike Tyson, bro. This shit crazy, bro. Mike Tyson. <laughs> My dog done got lit, man. He over here rapping with Tyson. Mike Tyson trying to give us some shrooms. You hear that? <laughs> trying to give us some shrooms. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Tyson looking out, man. This shit crazy as fuck. He should have never gave you his money. Was that a white dude that said that? I think that's a white dude that said that shit. <laughs> we need to find that nigga and beat his bitch ass. Yeah. Jet Blue. Because he was way too flight. comfortable. My boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson. Turn that way. Yeah. And he got fucked up. Hey. And they asked for autograph. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what? Mike, Mike, come on. Let's go stop back. Let's do some worse, man. Beat his motherfucking ass, man. Way to go, Mike Tyson. It looked like he hit him good five, six times. I don't know why anybody would have talked to Mike Tyson that was on that plane after that. Leave Mike Tyson the fuck alone. Right. Mike Tyson's rep says the passenger threw a water bottle at Mike Tyson. Oh, man. And the and and nigga got a long criminal record. Convicted of fraud, grand theft, burglary, possession of a controlled substance, trafficking, and uh, stolen property. I have a feeling he knew what he was doing. He was fucking with Tyson. And he knew that he he wanted to get hit. This nigga was a real life GTA character. It was Travis. Or fucking Trevor, you, I mean. Did you see that nigga haircut? Yes. That nigga <laughs> had the worst fucking haircut. He deserved to get his ass Listen, beat. Listen, he obviously didn't hit him too hard because Tyson chat. didn't knock you out. That nigga was bleeding. He, he obviously hit that nigga that hard. But what I'm saying is like you did, he didn't sleep him. And I'm pretty sure Tyson had the ability to. Right. Just enough, just enough to let him. Just enough, know. leave me the fuck alone, yeah, bro. Just to let, yeah, just to know, just to know, like nigga, I'm Mike motherfucking Tyson. I get my aggression out by hitting people. Leave he, me alone. Right. I don't see that nigga as no Dumb real ass. fan because if he was a real fan, he would know that this nigga Mike Tyson is a fucking cannibal. Mike Tyson will eat your heart, your children, nigga, your ears. Yes. What? He for real poked the fucking bear. <laughs> what, what is it? It's these two thousand yeah, kids that don't know. That's some wild shit to do. He for real. Poked the fucking bear. Ended up in the revenant. Yeah. Nigga, are you serious? Yeah. He obviously never seen a Mike Tyson fight. Because, duh. And see, and that takes me back <coughs> to, that takes me back to the whole discussion about how, uh, not to make it racy, but how white people view black people, no, not, no matter who the fuck they is. They viewed them as fucking just entertainment. As entertainment. Somebody to make me laugh. Dance, nigga. Honestly, no, I think he was, I, I, I feel you that that happens, but I think what happened is he, w he knew, he knew that Mike Tyson was going to eventually hit him for what he was doing. Yeah, and this shit happened on 420. Yeah. Mike Tyson was on his way to fucking meet up with Ric Flair and, 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 uh, and uh, smoke a blunt with fucking Ric Flair, Rick Ross. He had to deal Rick, with this type of Ricks. bullshit. Yeah. Better go hang out with the two Ricks. Fucking up my day on 420. Take these right. shrooms and shut the fuck yeah. up, dude. Right. Airlines should have moved him. You no. Should, they should have moved him. ended up arresting that nigga. I mean. As soon as he got the fuck off the plane. Bitch ass nigga. I can't stand niggas like that. And like, and Mike Tyson had to been, he had to been real pissed off to beat his ass. Cause I feel, I feel because like, yeah. he had a whole, some, because remember at that comedy show, he had a whole fucking gun pulled on him. Yes. Yeah. And he hugged that nigga. And he was cool. Like he was patient. He hugged that nigga. So right. He hugged him. fuck? Yeah. I mean. Dude's annoying as shit. Annoying ass shit, nigga. And it's just annoying that everything's caught on cell phone. And, alone. Like recording now, like. But it needs to be. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what it happened. Otherwise, it'd be just another story that Mike Tyson attacked a motherfucker on the plane. Very right. true. And we don't have no any right. evidence behind it. But it's it like, but it's like, it's, it, yeah. But yeah. it's like. So good for Mike Tyson beating his motherfucking ass. He should have. 
He should have been his ear off. Hey. I mean, he got what he was looking for. What? He got what he was looking for. He, he, sh- hey. he should have threw him off the plane. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Stupid. Moving on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You heard about the Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, they not doing it no more. At all? No. Johnny Depp ain't doing that shit no more. Yeah, Johnny Depp's not. He's done. What's Johnny Depp doing? Well, fucking, what, why? Johnny Depp is, is in a whole goddamn uh, lawsuit. With his wife? With Amber Heard. That shit? Yeah. His ex-wife. Yes. Pray- and you know what? Prayers up for Johnny Depp. Man. He is fucking going through it. Right Man. now he's suing, uh, he's suing Amber Heard for $50 million over a 2018 Washington Post op-ed she wrote about the treatment of women in domestic abuse cases. She did not mention Depp by name, but clearly he knew who, who the fuck she was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think I, well, it said she said some shit like, I survived blow after blow to the face and Jack uh, from Jack. And we immediately became public enemies, living with him with nothing but fear and loathing in Las Vegas. So, yeah, she knew, we knew yeah. who the fuck she was talking about. Obviously talking about Johnny Depp. Right. No, she didn't say that in the deposition. I just broke, I just put that up there. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Look, they that's how rumors get started. That shit hard though. That shit hard though. I go lie. Hey, uh, 2015, heard filed for divorce after 15 months of marriage, and she uh, obtained a temporary restraining order against Depp, claiming he abused her while under the influence of drugs and alcohol. I do remember this because I remember when like Depp, like his, I saw that his um. His 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 movie roles like his like he like he wasn't the same Johnny Depp anymore. He he yeah. got he got like uh just mysterious and sad almost. Sad. Yeah. This is whatever happened to Johnny Depp. He became Jack Sparrow. That's what happened to fucking Johnny Depp. Yes. Amber Heard is what happened to fucking Johnny Depp. Yeah. And, and Amber Heard, that's the girlfriend from Seth Rogen on Pineapple Express. For, yeah. for people that don't know, because I didn't know that. Yeah, she got some acting credits and shit. Yeah. Amber Heard, she, that's good looking. That's a good looking white bitch. And not in Paul, the, for not, real. Not, sure, not crazy, in the video though. I seen. That bitch look right. terrible. No oh, shit. Hold on. Just listen, just listen to Johnny. I grabbed her by the shoulders. What's what he had to deal bed, with? And I said, I'm leaving. Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. I'm leaving. And she got up no off sad. the bed. And she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. And I said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? And I said, go ahead. She bullied that old hit man. <laughs> Oh shit. And then I just said, did that is that what you wanted? Would you like another? Bam. Damn. There's the second I'm one. About the crop. Donnie Brasco was getting his ass beat. <laughs> now you're done. <laughs> Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down. All said, I hear is Jack Sparrow. Don't yes. follow me. Leave me alone. I'm out. Jack Sparrow would have never settled for this shit. Yeah, he did. Jack Sparrow did. I don't believe that shit. shit. Are you serious, man. Ugh. In all oh, seriousness, man. like, he, yeah, that, that guy has been through some shit. Yeah, that's shit. fucked up, Lord, man. Nigga she, nigga, she fucking got his finger cut off. She was behind his uh-huh. finger getting cut off. She threw some shit at him. She threw a vodka bottle at him. Yeah. It broke and cut his fucking. She top shit of his in his off. bed. He what? She what? She shit in his bed. She shit yes. in Johnny Depp's bed. For what? Pitched a loaf in this nigga's bed. Blue mud. Turd on the Afghan. Yes, nigga. What the fuck? Shit is in r- this nigga's bed, bro. Right on on his top, side of the bed. On the top sheet. Oh, right on top of that shit. Nigga, you gotta throw the whole fuck the marriage. You gotta throw the whole goddamn bed away. We should have got that sound clip of Seth Rogue saying, I ain't, uh, "I'm not no sticky ass turd." <laughs> oh man, listen to listen to listen to him explain. Her shitting on his bed, him coming home to that shit. Paul ruled the objection as the photograph. He was like, "Y'all, I got." What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? And he talked so slow. Like, get it, spit it out. It was a. Spit it out. It was a photograph of the bed, our bed. Um, and on my side of the bed. Um, 
was oh, human fecal matter. God. Excrement. 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 Um, Excrement. So I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, <laughs> I'm not talking to my wife right now. She's shit in my bed. Was what the fuck? I mean, I laughed. All right, that's enough. Because he he is he is doing he is a doing a, a, a wonderful window. fucking job trying to win a fucking Oscar. Yeah, off screen. Yeah, I'm just waiting on a director in the courtroom to be like, all right, nigga, break character, nigga. Okay, we're done. We're moving on to the next scene, nigga. Arab, spit it out. Cause nice. that shit right there is like pulling teeth. I can't, I can't get through that shit. But uh, that is for seven hours. Yeah, <sighs> a whole fucking work day of this bitch is crazy. I, I was watching the video and it was, it was like, yeah, uh, evidence piece <coughs> five hundred. I was like, what the fuck? There's yeah. so much evidence. And them so text, what? And he had to read his text messages in court. Yeah. How many times did she shit in the bed? Is the slippery whore that I donated my jizz to? <laughs> <for> <laughs> Hey. He hated. He hated this is her. Crazy. What is a slippery whore? <laughs> oh my god, nigga! I wish a bitch would pinch a loaf in my fucking bed, and I, I have to rub her face in it. That's some female dog shit. To do. <laughs> that is some female <laughs> dog shit to do. That's yeah. some female to shit a brick on what? my side of the bed. Who thinks? Who even thinks of some shit like Johnny that? Johnny Depp's at the bar, bitch. You shit in my. You shit on my bed, bitch. I'm suing you for fifty mil. That's I'm, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you work at. Give me that pineapple Starbucks, express money, bitch. Yo, give me my money. Right. What Shit in my about? fucking bed. Got to throw my whole fucking bed away. The they had look. They they was like after moving. you said let's drown her before we burn in her. No no no. After you said let's drown her before we burn her, you said I will fuck her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she's dead. Damn. Who said that was Johnny, Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp said that about Amber Heard. Like he But to who though? How do they get that information? That's, that was from the uh, that was from the prosecutor. He read that shit in court. They asked him. So after you said this, yeah. So no matter how toxic she is, her pussy is still bomb in death. This nigga is willing to commit what's that shit? Uh Necrophilia? Necrophilia. Yeah. Gross. Oh man. You out here fucking dead corpses? I feel I feel, I feel like Jack Sparrow's into that. Yeah, because Jack Sparrow is a corpse himself. Yeah. He's a dead. He's dead. He's a dead pirate. Well, that's why he plays so running good. around fucking the city up. Yo yo ho in a bottle of rum. Fuck <laughs> it. In a yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> I, Damn, I, man. I hope, I hope Johnny Depp. I hope for a positive outcome out of this. Yes, because I miss Johnny Depp in pay, the. Um, pay that man. I hope they just separate. They had. And then just go about their business. She's counter suing for a hundred million. So this what? is just this is just his case. She's also doing weird shit, like wearing the same clothes that he wears, like to court. Like it's weird. Cause she's toxic. He he love him. Yeah, it's she's Johnny still Depp. she's still doing crazy shit. She doesn't stop. You see how she look at the court in public. She, yeah. She's infatuated with him. She wasn't in love, bro. That's what it is. And he's a old. He's and he's an older guy. Yeah. What are you even doing with him? Say shit. When you older, nigga, you want some young pussy. You infatuated. Pause. For him, she, yeah. Some, she said some he was young, <laughs> some young, consensual, old enough pussy. She said he was boring as fuck. He just would hang out and play guitar with his friends at his house. That nigga's fifty. Those motherfuckers' friends are like rock stars, though. Yeah. Like, so, bitch, what? Dude? Tommy Lee's over all the time, and he always right. fucking sneaks right. up always, the bathroom. I'm sick of this old white dude shit. Right. No, I don't want tacos. Right. Leave Kiss the fuck at home. Like I'm done. I don't. I don't, don't want to see, see them Gene over again. here. Gene, what do you keep? What? Let's go to Coachella. Call before you come over. Basically, yeah. that's the type of shit she on. He's not on that. He's not on that shit. But she just want to beat him into it. Yeah, and that's what and do. And, but that's what you have to deal with when you dating these young females. These young females are still in the fucking Man. club. Right. They still want to get ran through. And it's not that serious. They want to get home. fucked. In, they want to get Man. fucked in the club bathroom. Say your money. They want to have a drunken fuck night. Yeah. 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 They want the, you know what I'm saying? Every single time they go out, that's what, that's, that's, the, that's the, uh, goal. Yeah. And then your ass, you over here, all, you over here, uh, uh, For old dudes too, and though. established. You got probably, a, you probably got kids on the side. 
you establishing your in your in your uh, finances and shit, and you going and you got to deal with this little party bitch. That, that's that's got to go out every weekend. Right. Nothing's ever good enough. Like, what are we doing? Come on, Johnny. You want to go out? No, right. I don't think I really. Uh, right. He's partake. just like, yo, I did that for so long. I don't want to do that anymore. Right. Also, I'm addicted to drugs right now. I'm trying to get off this shit. Can you leave me alone? Right. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen to Stop the... beating me. I understand. I'm trying to get my life together right she now. She probably owned. No, I can't even say that. No, but look, listen to it. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you've been a lot of Bitch, I know what it's like to get punched. Long time. I know. Yeah. No, I, when you fucking have a close You face. didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the po motion of my actual hand was, but you're... Fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How? What am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, did you Johnny. Start a physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. So I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are. Wait a minute. She's just bullying him and gaslighting him. Oh, God. For this real. Bitch, this nigga. Listen, she's about Put that, that life. Put that ass in the dirt. She about that life, for I sure. i tell you what. Smoking nigga. on poop at night. I'm waiting for a diss track from her. I'm, I'm, I'm here for this. Let a man say that shit to a fucking female, bro. You're a baby. I just, I didn't hit you with the clothes. You're face. a fucking baby. Get the fuck up. I didn't punch you. I hit you. I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm what sorry. You, I mean? didn't hit you across your face you the mean? way you were supposed to get hit across the face. Oh my God! Get up, bitch! You're a fucking baby. Get up off of the ground. See, You're not bleeding. That's a, right? That sounds stop it. It's wild as she said. I didn't hit you with like a proper slap across the face. My God! But then she also said she didn't punch him. So what was your hand doing? Did you karate chop this man? Dude, what did she do? She like, come on! Down, and you keep saying you hit him, so you acknowledge you struck him. She how did, how was your hand? You obviously you obviously had a closed fist and punched the shit out of Johnny is, Depp. She is fucking wild. Toxic abuse. What's crazy is right. she recorded the conversations. Mm -mm -mm. That pussy yeah. fire. <laughs> she has to. She has to because she's 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 in a defamation case as well. Yeah. So she got to record all this shit for the but, same. But that doesn't help her case. Yeah, this shit is not helping her case at all. No. What I'm hearing that this, uh, this that she that she has been bullying this nigga. Right. She, yeah. she she's showing it. She doesn't even realize she's showing you it. Old motherfucker. Could be a baby, Johnny. She Let really me fucking slap you. She really thinks that he's fucking. He's the problem. Man. Imagine, imagine. If you know what, said, Johnny? Ever since Willy Wonka, you've been acting like a real fucking right. asshole. Ever since Charlie the Chocolate Factory, you're you acting like a little bitch right now. Right, you acting like a little softy. Now these niggas have smoked your goddamn cousin in front of you, nigga. Blew his head off in front of your face. Yeah, man. Uh, Meg Thee Stallion sat down with uh, Gail King. Yeah, I seen that. She started crying. Why? Wa waterworks. Why? More toxicity. It was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff. Like yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But I never put my hands on anybody. I never mm -hmm. raised my voice too loud. Like this was one of Cap. the times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated. To right. The oh, so I get out the car and it's like everything happens so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming is he said, dance, bitch. And he starts shooting. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like he shot a couple of times. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car? Megan? He How is he? standing up over the window okay. shooting. Uh -huh. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move. I didn't hear Tori's name. <clears throat> there was nobody else in the car that night. Other than her friend. But she said he multiple times. She said he. So it's only, it can only be it him. Was, it was that she was most likely talking about Tori. It can so. only be him or her friend. And her friend was a, a, a female. So as she's talking about Tori. Mm. 
And the whole dance bitch thing came up already previously in the court case. I don't know. I remember when we first talked about this shit. I was like, yo, that's yo, that's the only reason I would think that somebody is shooting at your feet when they sitting there like, dance, bitch, dance. Right. Dance, and, and, bitch. And he really said and he really said that shit. That's wild, right? That's but fun. I think they said that's that funny, he didn't have Sorry, any gunpowder on him, but her friend did. Sorry, Mick. You know, I mean I ain't I ain't laughing about the situation, but you, he said, sorry, Meg, but that shit's hilarious. That comment's hilarious, sorry. She's saying this whole thing is just laughable. Her going on Gail King. I don't know why. No, but. because she's obviously traumatized. You know what I mean? So she was crying. Yeah. I, I believe yeah. it. I believe it. But yeah. at the same time, to yeah. say you was up there, oh, it was unprovoked, and I never raised my voice. You didn't raise your voice. Cat. This is just another... This is another reason why I'd rather wait until the, the facts play out in court for real. Yeah. Trying to twist the narrative in the public and uh, to control public perception. Trying to get ahead of that shit. Yeah. Right. That's Trying to get ahead of some shit. Because it's going to get bad. At the end of the day, if, if, he, if, so he, that. if that's what he did, he still shot her. So that's, fu- that's fucked up. But, but yeah. again, they said that the flash, the flashlight, a uh, flash of the gun came from her friends there and not Tori. Tori didn't have any gunpowder on his hand or gun residue on his hand. Her friend did. Mm. Who shot the gun? She covering and now she's so committed. She's pot committed. That's a fucking Lully. You gotta just keep lying. Hell yeah. You know, you remember what happened the last time a nigga went up to fucking Gail King and shit? I didn't do this stuff. This is not <laughs> me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. That, that happened on Gail King. So you know? He got a good reputation. Right. Oh, when you man. need to, when you, when, 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 when you <laughs> need At the fuck off. to, when you need to, uh, 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 a positive boost to your reputation, nigga, you go on Gail King. Mm-hmm. Gail, they, 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 they killing oh, me out here. Killing me with this. R. Kelly. I'm killing him. I'm killing him. I'm killing him. Why did R. Kelly ever continue to agree to like do interviews? Look, He's never been good at interviews. I did piss on them bitches, oh. but Gail, you have to believe me. I, I didn't they need wanted to. Me too. I had a weak bladder. I had a weak bladder. He said, "Do you want to come back to America?" Right. I want a cookie. It's not my fault. N- n- that I want a cookie. It's not my fault. I want. I <laughs> want to piss on him. Yeah, you, you you terrible. Just terrible. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this I case. Just wanna, I just want this. I just want to get this shit over with. Gail King is just another. Just a just. <laughs> Get this shit over with. I'm not. I'm they not even want to watch it. She had a whole diss track. Capitalize off this still. You had. This, you heard that diss oh, track, absolutely. Phoenix. What? You heard a diss track that she uh, revealed that on tour. Oh yeah, Coachella. Oh, I heard yeah, like the snippet of from Coachella, but I didn't. Was it Coachella? It sounded like some. It sounded like some who shot your shit. It was Coachella. That's right. You're right. It had a big ass screen. It sounded right. It sounded like it sounded like it sounded like some who shot your shit. Yeah, for sure. I've heard. I've heard better diss songs. She tried to do a. Uh, I've heard better summer jam. She keeps saying it's not a diss song. It's well, not a diss yeah. song, just a real song. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers <laughs> that like that shit, the fact that she could just sit here and diss Tori willy-nilly, but Dory Tori can't say shit about her, otherwise he going to jail. Yeah. Right, what that's or about? Mo- or getting his money fucked with. Yeah. Look, man. Well, because he looks like he's guilty to everybody else right now. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm exhausted from talking about this, so. Moving on. <laughs> so, uh, you heard about the Utah College offering a porn uh, course? Nigga, yes! Yeah. Oh! I knew your I knew your freaky ass. So students will analyze the art of hardcore pornography. Is that's what that's basically what the course is about? Fuck yes, nigga. They will require students to watch pornographic films together yep. and discuss the sexualization of race, class, and gender. So black I'm porn, here black for it. porn, pogs, and transsexual porn. So that's basically oh, what they. Because you have to, you have to. Cause you ain't just watching heterosexual porn. You go watch something that got more than one dick in it. You gotta partake. <laughs> I think I had to do that. I think they can force that. Um, <laughs> I had the perfect advertise. I think that like the marketing for them on this is gonna be out of this world. I think they need to go get the guy who did the Everest College commercials. Oh, us, and then put those ads on Pornhub. What you, what you doing? The house being your meat. You're at home. You could be right. at school. Shacking off. Right. Eating hot Cheetos all day. You could be at school watching the same thing you're watching right now. But guess what? You get full credit for it. And you exactly. get paid for it. Right. 
You too no, have a career in the it. adult industry, film industry. Right, nigga. Come on down to put it in college. What? And we'll, we'll set you what? Yikes, first of all, nasty. Boosie did it first, nigga. I'm, no, I'm giving Boosie his credit. How so? Boosie did a whole life. Boosie did a whole life. With a fucking magnifying glass, scoping the pussy out with his son. With his son, that's right. That is pussy anatomy right there. 101. Right fucking So what's the difference? There. Utah between Boos Boosie and Man. Now, this see? is a college course. So you actually get credit for it towards whatever degree you win. How do you get graded though? You get graded off of your assignments. What are the assignments though? I don't know, nigga. Scrubbing the hub. What's what's homework? Like, you know what I mean? Like are you Go home, beat off to some shit, write an essay about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What a fucking dick dissertation, nigga. You gotta bring it. It's like, teacher, can you stay, can you stay, can I stay everything? after and you uh, help me out with this assignment, please? Yeah, nigga, who wouldn't want a crash course in coming, nigga? What, like, what are you saying, nigga? I wanna, nigga, I wanna know. I would have the best attendance. I would have, I would have the best attendance, nigga. This I would never miss a, a bunch of them. Listen, I would never come late, ever. Oh, God, pause. <laughs> I would never look. Oh God! I could, but I could never. Uh, I could never join. That's gonna be an online it. only course. You it can't. has to be an online only course. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Open your uh, open your hub to page uh, twenty six. Open your hub. No. Open your hub. Open to, your hub to, open to page, page twenty six. Oh, page 26. <laughs> Let me know what you see. Uh, what what chapter are we in? Well, well today we're in the uh, right. transgender chapter. Right. Oh, gross. That's gonna be the final exam. You gotta watch some gay porn, and if you get hard, you fail. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch your your, your opposite sexual orientation. Whoa! And, and, and if you get turned on, you fail. Group projects. What those gonna be like? Orgies. Your bang bros. I'm Brazzers. Stop. <laughs> tight. Wait, what? It'll yeah. be it'll be tight. Your hub. Your your porn hub. I'm X videos, and you're a uh, she hamster. It's like so. So teacher, can we pick she our own study buddies? <laughs> Can we can we can pick our own study buddies? It's like yeah. Yo, it has to it can't it, like the ratio. It has to be like uh, it has to be more females than than men in that uh, in that class. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna sit somewhere where like niggas is like watching porn and getting aroused. Yeah, I don't aroused. Really, and knowing that. that what did that make you like your assignment is you have to turn in like a video you watched the, the night before or whatever the last porn video you watched. You gotta submit that link in. Oh shit. And then everybody sees what you're interested in. I don't, oh, I don't get no fuck about that. I'm, the whole what, what if it's like uh, you have to make your own? You have to bring in your own porn. You, you, ha you have to make a porn. Oh no! And you have to. You have That's to, the final exam. You, you, you have to make your own, your own porn. porn yeah. Off of what you've learned. What a two, right? What, right. what you learned. Right. It's got to. It's got to involve anal. It's got to involve ass licking. It's got to oh, involve. Uh, it's got to involve <laughs> head. Uh, missionary doggy style group cowgirl. Uh, bukaki. Uh, uh, it has to involve and, 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 uh, and, it has, and it has to have a, and it has to have a, uh, it has to have a, um, a theme, a, 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 a theme, theme, a title, a title, and a cum shot, and a story, and a cum, the cum, <laughs> and a cum the shot, climax. and the climax. cum shot, and the climax is fifty percent of your grade. Off tops, easy. It's if, if it's some weak shit, yeah, you might as well. You're out of here, buddy. Imagine failing a, a class like that. How do you fail? You're bad at porn. You bad at porn. You're terrible at, at right. the art of telling sex. You're right. just bad at, with porn. Right. <laughs> you're bad at porn. You don't, know, miss, you don't know what you're misusing you're porn. You're bad at yeah. You're just bad at. <laughs> you just go through that mother. You just jack off to anything. In there, huh? <laughs> That's you you page one. You just you just right. They just type in sex. You, you look look <laughs> right. You just look. You beat off to you beat off to page one, nigga. You got to get at least nine six nine uh, ten pages. What's in the weirdest you. porn search you've ever ever uh, no. searched? Hentai. Oh man. I like the cartoon sex. Stop. Hey, the cartoon sex be wild. No. Watch the little anime bitches fuck. No. Yo, anime sex is wild. That <laughs> that's, shit is that's weird. mad wild. That's super sick. Yo. The graphics on that shit is incredible. I hate the, the ads. Special I fucking game. hate the ads in porn nowadays. Oh man! Oh what? my fucking god! Like, right. can you get to the fucking part? And then you gotta wait. And then you gotta wait five seconds before you can even skip that. So, motherfucker. Hey, big boy! Right? You want to chat with me? Right? You click online, chat, chatterbait. 
You want to chatter me? It's like, no, I don't. Oh, I, I, I was specific God. in my search. Right. The bitch, the bitch is sitting there, right? Dildo on her fucking self. Come on, come on. That's not why I, I want to see this shit. I'm trying to get to the fucking part. I said big booty black slut and white right. dude. I said right. that. Right. Jesus. Crystal lost. Fuck. Abella Danger now. So, yeah. Abella Danger, she wild. All right, well, uh, I don't know these hoes by name. Texas. <laughs> I don't need my ass. Yeah, this is about Rose be the Monroe. Sixth, 60th oh episode. God. Y'all have Rose named your favorite porn Rose. stars. Oh my God. Who, who's Fessy. the Ebony chick? What's her name? Blondie Ebony. Uh, have you been on Twitter? Ebony. Twitter got the best porn. Though. I don't go on Twitter. I need to go on Twitter. Twitter got the best Twitter porn. Got the best porn. Yo. Look up big booty, uh, big booty of porn on Twitter, nigga. Oh God. Stop. You'll see some wild shit on that. Hell yeah. There'll be a whole bunch of wild shit come up. Yeah, It'll be a lot of hey, sh- shout out to Highly Culture Beat Click up, like you always do. Twitter, you Let wild. me know all your uh, uh some, some good uh porn stars to follow on Excuse Twitter. Excuse me. What? Let me know some good porn stars to follow uh, on Twitter. Cherokee to ass. Oh, Cherokee to ass. Uh, uh, who else you can follow? Uh, You've been through Bella, this. Bella oh Danger. You look good. Uh, no, no, slow down. Mia Malkova. Uh, who else? Oh, uh, Mia Mal- Mia Malkova. I spell me. Wow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. 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 Oh Moving on. Uh, fuck it, we. Um, speaking of abuse, uh, I saw the, the baby out here trying to fight his artist. Bro. God damn! <laughs> Man. I did see that shit. Shoot somebody one week, for boxing with my friends the next. What is dude artist. doing? He 360 windmilled that nigga. Oh, God, that was a one hit wonder. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. Got him, this, got him out of there quick after that. Quick, I bet. fighting his own people now, man. Like, yeah. Homeboy swung back, though. Yeah. Did you see the nigga in the blue shirt that was right behind the baby, like, get get scared and, like, ah! After, like, when yes. the punches start yes. flying and shit? You saw that shit? Yes. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get get get, get some people around. That get, that's right. security. Get that scary ass nigga from away from around you. This nigga went, oh, my God. Don't. Oh, my God. I'm going to get For a fist. Head. For a fist. He did that. Right. This move. Nigga, the baby was this move. nigga, like, why? What is wrong with this nigga? I don't know what's going on. That is an abusive little motherfucker right there. Oh, God, he, he, he like the Debo of hip-hop. Right. That ass. He's like, Shug Knight right. He right now. Just yeah. out here beating people up. Right. And you see this shit in real time. In real fucking in real, time. And, he getting, is and getting away with it publicly. shooting niggas or he is beating your ass. This is the most hip-hop shit I've ever seen. I love it. Bro. So, baby, keep it up. Hell and yeah. he's undefeated, <laughs> my nigga. This nigga is that shit up. Damn. I feel like he has a valid reason. More times than not. The baby got a new op every week. Beat, see, beat see, motherfuckers up in the bowling alley. Yeah, you see, you see that nigga. You see that nigga was like, yo, I ain't cooperate with nobody. He turned his hair blind. He was tired of. He was <laughs> fucked. That nigga hair ain't nobody finna grab me by my hair and beat my ass like that again. Uh uh-uh, uh. He, he said I'm Richie Rich now. <laughs> hey, for real though, you got to think about that. Hey, when you go into battle, nigga, you don't want to have a no long ass motherfucking hair because niggas is gonna grab that shit. Pause. That's so man. And hey, get your ass beat up. That's not how you. Fight. I hate that shit. It's right. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, but it's a. At the end of the day, it's, it's whatever. Mm-hmm. What you do if a motherfucker tug your beard? Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. I never shit. thought about he that. He won't, get, he won't get close enough to tug my fucking beard. I let a nigga get, there, get that close to tug my fucking beard. Hey, what would you do? <laughs> yeah, what, what, would you you do? Just, what, what if a motherfucker got away <laughs> with it? What if he did? I'm just saying, what if he did? No, he can't grab my fucking beard at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he can. Just, even, I don't think he can just even. get a little tug. Just a little tug in the head. Niggas is not. Niggas is not. We ain't doing that shit. Beard. Not the if average you, person. You not you. Oh, not you. Get but right, you, know you know get mean? a right fucking hook and a left uppercut, nigga. Quick. And and I know how to slip. I know how to slip my fucking uh, jabs and shit. So niggas is not finna just grab my fucking face. Nigga, you go have a you go have a long motherfucking day, a fucking long, a long with fucking Lee, day. nigga. You go have a long fucking day fucking with Lee, nigga. It's good to know. But the way the baby is moving, I'm I don't I'm not mad at him because if somebody broke into my motherfucking property, I'm shooting them. If a motherfucker if 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 a motherfucker approach me. No matter what the fuck we at. my at, video, knowing he's already said violent shit. I'm going to beat his motherfucking ass. If a, nigga, if a nigga run up on me at the jewelry store or the Gucci store, whatever the fuck I'm man talking shit, thinking it. he got the hands, nigga, and I whoop his ass, nigga. I'm going to hey. beat him up. He's not the I aggressor in this situation. One. Except for this one. This most recent one, he was definitely the aggressor. Yeah. He swung. We so, don't know no, I before mean, that. We don't know anything that happened before that, but we know he swung first. What so if it was valid? You know, like, nigga, put a fucking hit out! 
<laughs> right. Nigga, you trash. That's what a hit looks like, bitch. Right. That's what a hit look like, nigga. What? This is what a hit sounds like, nigga. Hit and hit and hit him. I mean, right. Yeah. Sick of you trash ass nigga taking up time in my studio, nigga. Right. Like, why are you here? Why are you here? I'm shutting down the studio. Right. I'm, 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 tired. I'm tired of you niggas, man. I did. I'm shutting I signed, down the studio. I signed you to put in work, nigga. Right. Right. Yes. Either way, you know, the baby's just, uh, just out here doing the baby. It's, it's becoming. For the most a part, he's, he seems to be in the right when he, these things happen, so. Yeah, stupid motherfuckers keep trying this nigga. Right, you're yeah. not gonna win. <sighs> Keep trying. It's, it's obvious. Yeah. So, uh, Pusha T um, was talking about Drake because Drake talked about Pusha T. So I think he responded. I think we have audio on that. I I believe so. Let's see what this nigga Pusha T had to say about uh Drake. His little and his spicy little like diss. musically and everything. Like I know who I want to deal with, who I want to work with. I know what this is, and he just don't fall in those lines. So it doesn't. We, we don't have he, to do this. If he says something about you, like people are saying the song that leaked with Jack Harlow, he's yeah. taking shots at you. Does that, do you let it slide or do yeah, you I, respond? Man, you know what? I think, like, I, I even heard that. And it, like, it sounds old to me. Mm -hmm. Like, the flows sound old. Like, it don't sound like, and then it's like, even the even what what is considered, like, the shots, it's like, bro, after what I've done, like, I... Like the middleman talk and all that type of talk. That's not like that's not scathing for me. Like I'm like I'm here to like. And he already burn said that. Down. It's not everything. That's it's like, like, yeah, it's like and it's subliminal. It's like, bro, we not. I'm not subliminal with nobody today. Like I'm not doing that. I'm coming right so you at ignore you. Ignore it or do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told. I told. I don't. I mean, I, yeah. I honestly feel like, and from the sound of it, it just sounded old to me. Gotcha. Like it's not like fresh. Now, yeah. as a lyricist, do you always keep something in the chamber just in case? As a lyricist, I got a file of just fire. Mm. For whatever. Is that for different artists hey. as well? Just well just everything. Just that's for, that's for the world. Uh -huh. That's, a, that's a file cabinet full of death. Death, hey. nigga. Shout out to Pussy death. T one time, man. Because that nigga is here to destroy. Fuck that subliminal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, lyrical, miracle shit you talking about, nigga. I know about your other baby that you ain't told nobody about, nigga. I got right. other shit up on you. Yeah. Besides, yeah, I, I still think got that, five. that um, Pusha T, um, sorry, my bad. I just lost my fucking thought for a second. I think he's kind of over it. Um. To be honest, like at this point, what is that? Uh, what, are, what are we? Why are we still having this conversation? I don't care that he's even really doing this. Like I won. It's over. I already won. Right, I, I already don't won need the to battle. do this again. What are we doing? And like he said, it was old, it was an old shot. Right. He was like he probably there right. was just a, oh, it was a record that had to come out that he wanted to come out and that had happened to be in there probably. Pusha will always win that battle because Pusha's not afraid to say whatever the fuck he want to say. Right. Like he didn't. He didn't win because. He had better metaphors. He won with facts. Right. And yeah. if and if that diss that he had and that if Drake if that Drake diss and that Jack, that Jack Harlow song was uh worth responding to, Push would have responded. Yeah, it wasn't worth. It wasn't. To. It wasn't worth my fucking time, nigga. My album is on the way. That's what motherfuckers is waiting on. That's 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 more anticipated than that certified lover right. boy shit you put out. Right, and it's and it's a little little, and then, and then you diss me on a Jack Harlow song, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm not taking that shit seriously, nigga. Yeah, that cupcake ass shit. Let the bitch, let the bitches run with that. <laughs> let the bitches run with that. I mean, how long that you let somebody else talk about you before you got to see him again? Right, right. That's so why. What Daddy, if, so what if Drake mentioned his son? Then he got to jump in. Right. That's why Daddy lay. Bro, uh, that's why Daddy lay brother uh, dropped that suit because she got to fuck around and he got to fuck around and see still, the baby at right. a fucking family reunion one of these. You days. still got to yeah. see him. That's still yeah. That's still you still uncle nigga. Right. You ain't suing It'll me be for the last shit. Time. Right. You, what, 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 right. What you gonna sue me for? You're right. you're ignorant. Exactly. Exactly. So in this case with uh, Pusha T, I wouldn't be. I I I, I feel the same way Pusha T feel. Hey, I won, nigga. I won. We ain't doing yeah. this. Come with something better. Yeah, that old shit ain't that old shit ain't gonna work. Come with something yeah. better. Come with something motherfucking better. Pause, 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 nigga. Moving on. Uh, you heard about the uh, OnlyFans stop paying Russian creators over in the Ukraine war? 
Oh, they still they stop putting money everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, bro. Listen. Yeah, that's how you control things. Money. So uh, all them hoes gonna have to get new fucking jobs. Fuck back to fucking for free. Back to fucking for free, right. or you'll be putting out a uniform, going to warehouse jobs, or driving yeah. tanks over in this bitch. Shit, at this point, they got the fuck for food and right shelter. Putin, I Putin, think you're 100% off. wrong. Putin shut all your shit off. I mean, these girls, it's it's easy to sell pussy on the internet. Oh yeah, it is. OnlyFans ain't the only website in the world that sells pussy. We got, we got, we shut down they Snapchat. They, they all, Look at right me, you like Caddy Pussy. Nah, now nah, they gonna hit you with the close friends. Yeah. I did pay to be on my, on my Instagram close friends. No, nah, we gonna, they gonna start popping up on our right. ads on Pornhub. Do you feel like masturbating? Do you like, want oh to masturbate? God, bitch. Do you want to chatterbait with me in I my know, Russian dialect? Ah, do I you know. want to fuck me? I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can fuck a Russian chick. She seems aggressive. Family. Yeah. She'll fuck you. Oh, fuck me. Yo, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me like <laughs> animal. <laughs> fuck me. Fuck me like animal. Fuck me oh, like God. animal. Oh, God. Like animal. Stop. Girl, baby. <laughs> Very girl. He said, Jigger Man, <laughs> why you treat me like animal? <laughs> <laughs> fuck me like animal. Run a, run a take over my face. All right. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Right. That <laughs> Russian pussy. A Russian that pussy. That Eastern European pussy. You want the Soviet Union right, fucking I could, vagina? I'm not, I'm not fucking no bitch that sound like Schwarzenegger. I'll be back I'll in be that back. pussy. I'll be back in that pussy. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Vladimir. Whoa. No, I'm not. Why did Blade go to Russia at the end of Blade? Why did he go to Russia and kill <laughs> vampires? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm just high. I don't know why I brought that. Did he went, to, he went to Russia? He went to get some of that Russian pussy. He went to Russian pussy. Only fans. Why what? Russians sound like they like they shit like they trying to like they trying to squeeze a turd they're out in the middle of taking a shit? No, right. it sounds like they're in like a, like a like a a street argument. And they're like, I'm Russian. I'm Russian. Like, okay, I can't. Yeah, Russian. I drink Russian vodka. Right. Like, damn, do you drink water? <laughs> Who's your favorite player over in, uh, in LeBron James? <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, 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 Kobe Bryant? <laughs> <laughs> I only eat stale bread. I <laughs> uh, 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 just talking about the KGB every now and again. Hemorrhoids. Uh, uh, he said hemorrhoids. I need a colonic. <laughs> My ass is happy. Whoa. Who was who the... Uh, Give the, me that pussy. The, the Grand Theft Auto 5 or uh, 4? Nikolai. Nikolai? Was he, was he Russian? Nikolai. What was he? Nikolai. What was, what was he? Nikolai Jokic. What? What was he? He was Eastern European for, 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 for damn shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know what I thought of that I thought would be funny? If GTA 6 was set in Boston. Oh, man. T- On Tuesday. About a harbor? By the hopper. Do you have the hopper? Everybody's just a... Because in that game, they use a lot... They got to use all the slang and shit like that. So everybody's just a fucking Southie rat. Right. <laughs> a what? There's a Southie. There's like every every fucking movie where it's like in the slums of Boston. Right. You're a fucking Southie. You're a fucking Southie. Hey, where's Donnie? Hey, where's Donnie? Are you trying to go play some basketball? You probably going to take some ball? Hey, you trying I don't to go, even you, really know how to play Boston. Are hey, you trying to go to the park? My Let's cockies. Go to the park. Car, my cockies. The yard. Right. My cockies. Right, you got my cockies? Yeah. Yo, pot the cod, hey, I think a hey, Boston accent is hard. Like, I would love to have yeah. a Boston accent. That's funny as hell. Hey, oh, God. And welcome. Well, I'm going to say welcome back. Hey, yo, welcome back to the Highly Culture Podcast. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was a mixture. That's, of, like, that's uh, like a Boston that was, from New York. That was like a Boston from Manchester. And <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the Fucking highly cultured podcast. Hey, forget about it. Welcome podcast. back. You should have, you know, podcast. It'd be like podcast. Can I just say, can, can you motherfuckers podcast. that have less than 100 followers stop podcast. going, yeah, you know who the fuck it is? No. No, we don't we know don't. who the fuck you are. We don't. You know Respectfully. Who the fuck it is. Respectfully, right. we don't. Right. They know who the fuck we is. They got to they, they gotta stop saying you know the fucking vibes because y'all don't know the motherfucking vibes. Right. Speaking of knowing the vibe, vibe, did you see that? Did you see that? Uh, did you see Fabulous? Uh, that that female that fell asleep on Fabulous. Hey. Uh-huh. Hold on, did you see that female that fell asleep on fucking Fabulous shoulder at the club? Nigga? No way, bro. That shit was hilarious. And then he, and then he posted hey, about it. Hey, it's his head, it's head, it's Jesse Blola. So he, he's on his phone like, like this, my baby mama. Hey. Got the football smash. Jump on gas 
to get ghost, nigga. This is crazy. This is the first time it ever happened in my whole life. Somebody leaned over and just fell asleep on my shoulder. Wow. This is crazy. Yo. The girl just like. Hey, you know. Yo, shout out to Fab. Shout out to Fab for shedding light on that. Thank you, Fab. I agree. Thank you, Fab. For 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 sharing that video of that female falling asleep on you because our girlfriends, we've been trying to tell these bitches for years. They don't believe us. They don't believe us that hey, yo, these females just they just so happen to fall asleep on niggas. Where did the glitter come from? The bitch she, fell asleep on right, me. The bitch fell asleep on my dick and you got the meat off of it. You got I'm make, sorry. You got makeup on your collar. Right. She was tired. Right. I gave the bitch my my, my, my fucking shoulder to lay on. There's a hickey on your dick. She was exhausted. She was exhausted, okay? Okay? She was fucking just exhausted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The bitch fell asleep. She fell asleep on me and I done it. I'm sorry. You I'm can't sorry blame me she's for that. Pregnant. I had no idea she was that tired. And, and you know what happens when females, you know what happens when, when they pussy fall asleep on me. I tend to nut immediately. No, there, was, I, there was no, there was no, there was no avoiding it. I'm a nice guy. You know I'm right. a nice guy. But I'm glad, I'm glad he did that. I am a nice guy. If, if she think, wants to sleep on me, I'm going to have to sleep with her. I think for better or worse, it's a great alibi for him in case, you know, God forbid something were to happen to her later on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because Emily was going to flame his ass. She's sick of this nigga. Already. And these bitches just falling asleep I'm sick on of me. you and your chip tooth, bitch. Right. She, like, she's like, she's sick of that cheating shit. You Remember, said, like, I don't know. I don't know who she is. Who is this crazy girl at the after oh, hours? What? Oh, she fell asleep oh, on me. He yeah. fucked her right after that video. Look, babe, no, I didn't. told you. I told you. It's it's not me. It's the melatonin that these bitches take before they come to the club. Uh -huh. <laughs> melatonin. You got that melatonin margarita. Right. You like like the bitch. Like you you see when they drink alcohol, they get tired and shit. That was That's that. not good. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say. Yeah, I try not, not to. No, no, no. I, I know what you gonna say. I, I try not to. I, I, I you know what? That's I stay away. Thing. I yeah. stay away from 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 females who get blacked out drunk. That I stay the fuck. I stay the fuck away from females who get blacked out drunk. That, nigga. that could, is a rape charge. That's probably why he did it. That is a rape charge. He was like, nah. She fell asleep. Bitch, wake up. Wake mouth up. hurt. Wake up now. He face fucked me like, without my permission. He. Go fuck me without my permission. You jumped off the bedpost and landed on my me. I did right. not. Right. Hey, yo, uh, she fell asleep on me. I didn't fall asleep on her. Facts. So she ended up pregnant. Buckle up. I don't know. It's not my fault. No, but for real, though, I stay away from blacked out females. Get her some help. Get her some motherfucking help. Stop it. Get some help. Do not no. fuck her. No. Do not. Do not take her clothes off. Don't no. do not do any of the sort. Leave the girl alone. Leave her alone. Let her be drunk. And I honestly can't even leave. Matter of fact, just call the police. And don't call the police and let the police deal with it. Let them throw her ass. If that's how you feel. Yeah, if that's how you feel. Like, off the know, find, yo, find, find the police find, officer out front of the club. Whoever owns this place. Right. Yeah. Yo, here you go. You got a problem here. Kick this right. girl out of your establishment. You got to wake her up. Cause this isn't okay. And do not drop and do not drop her ass off in front of the hospital. That shit, that shit only happens in movies. That shit does not happen in real life, nigga. You would drop her off in front of the hospital. Have you seen, a, have you seen a hospital fucking parking lot? Yes. No one's no one's looking at that shit. It doesn't happen often, but people have been dropped off. That's happened. Oh, I know. That's what I said. Stop. But I've never seen it. Stop doing that. The hospital parking lot leave, is leave her drunk ass. Very home. public. It's like that. That that is something I feel like. It's like seeing your neighbors carry groceries and it's something you never fucking see. Oh, you know something I didn't know? You're I didn't know you couldn't smoke on property of the hospital. There's no smoking signs Excuse everywhere. Excuse me? I was smoking. I was big chief in, when... Uh, I beg your pardon? I was big chief in when Roxanne uh, was in labor. I beg your pardon? I'd go out every, you know, like I beg three hours. I'd go, out in, I'd go in the van or what I think whatever car we had at the time. I'd go chief and go back upstairs. Oh, God. There are non-smoking signs everywhere around everywhere. the hospital. There's an entire, there's a cancer fucking It's board. a hospital. The last time I was at the hospital, it wasn't for my baby's reasons. That's when I finally noticed. Like, Come on, man. Sorry, Boosie. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you get that off. You are part of the problem. When it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to preventing like secondhand, 
like cancer smoke. caused by secondhand smoke. I did that. Yeah. You are part of the fucking problem, man. I'm sorry. I, you, you know what? You know what? For that, put that nigga ass in the dirt. <laughs> smoking on Pookie Load tonight. But yes, I, I I know. But you know what? But you know what? Uh, Fuck that! I'm smoking wherever I go. I try to no, tell I'm you. I'm not with you on that. I'm not yeah, with you on nah. that. I'm, I'm not. I don't I'm give not, no fucks. Don't smoke in the I was in the, I was in the van. Get some help. I don't care. I was in the van. Oh yeah, in the van. Yes. Yes. But on the van. Yes. But the fact that you, the fact that you was in your twenties and or thirties and you just now noticed not that 20. there was no the fucking. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, not smoking sign. Like I don't even. I don't even know if you need. I think that's common sense. Like people are dying. It doesn't matter what he was smoking, smoking. You couldn't even smoke back then, anyways. Yeah. So either way, you don't know that. Real. The fact that people used to smoke on planes I don't know that. Why? Right. We, we, you could probably smoke in the hospitals back in the day. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. You think, or it's always been like outlawed. Every 40s. every nineties movie, somebody was smoking some fucking where. I think mean, that's after the nineties. It was like the seventies and sixties. That's where that happened all the time. She's off in the nineties. Yeah, it was like they stopped that shit. Pregnant. Like they stopped that shit like in two thousands. Like right, like right when the two thousands hit. That's when they stopped all that smoking on planes and all that shit because that was all uh, because after uh, September. Uh, How's that uh, bullshit? After September eleventh, you can't have no. You could have shit on a plane no more. Mm-mm. Yep, that's when that stopped. That's when they stopped all that shit. No, I don't think you could smoke on a plane before that. No. No, yeah, you you couldn't smoke on a plane before that. You couldn't. You, you smoking's been outlawed. For and you don't fucking know. I say eighties by like by like eighty eight. It was outlawed. That's crazy that motherfuckers used to smoke. You used to just hot box that shit. It's fucking yeah, babies that, on this plane. That, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Motherfuckers growing up with. Carcinic gins in their lungs. <laughs> fucking fucking our, our babies up. All because we oh, wanted to man. smoke. Man. Ain't that 1988. A bitch? Oh, they stopped that shit in 1988? 1988. What I say? Stop. Mm, all right, I'll shut my ass up. Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs> all right. Got gotcha, you, buddy. All right, enough of that shit. Enough of that shit. Yeah, man. Let me see. We got Johnny Depp out the way. We got Meg the Stallion uh, out the fucking way. Jack in a Box employee almost gets fucking shot over some fucking sauce. What? Come on, man. So they going through Jack in a Box to get, get to get some tacos. Bitch in the passenger seat talking about, yeah, let me get some ranch. I guess she ordered Are extra you ranch. Kidding me? She gets the receipt. Like what? You charged me for some extra ranch? Shoots the fucking Jack and in the let box. off shots and let off sh- and shoots the fucking employee, bro. I think he got shot in the head. No, no, in the hand. That's in, in hand. What? Yeah, I think she got shot in the you? hand. People are crazy. Why Over some sauce. Two things. Number one, just give the person the sauce. Number two. Why the fuck are you shooting people over sauce? I don't know what's going on, but there has been a surge. But also, in- if somebody asks for sauce, just give them sauce. Bitches love ranch. Like, when did the drive-through window become the most dangerous job in America? Right. Because motherfuckers are getting shot at but these motherfuckers. What do you mean? They, they used to get ran down on more regularly. But they, 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 was, they, cr- they full blown getting crawled in through to, the window. You think the driving wasn't getting uh, stuck up regularly? Motherfucker was just. Motherfuckers Cash is literally business. Yeah, climbing through the fucking drive through window. Getting some sauces and, and then. And twerking on their way out. Yeah. Just walking in the back. Yes. Punk the manager. Man, bitch, shut so up. Like, give me this taco. I've been waiting for 10 minutes. Right. I'm going to so? make this shit myself. Shit. Wait for 15, ho. Like, nigga, did you just climb through the window? You are 200 fucking pounds. Because, like, what I, are you going to do as an employee? Taco Bell don't pay me enough to get involved in this. Oh, I'm definitely. I don't give a fuck. And Taco Bell yeah. motherfuckers do be fighting, though. Some of the motherfuckers do be fighting, depending on which Taco Bell you if go to. If it's a personal reason, because if it's like an attitude thing. Oh, yeah. You didn't give me my fucking sweet and sour sauce, and I can't eat this shit without sweet and sour sauce. It's personal at that point. Listen, Taco Bell will give you a fucking lifetime. Supply of mild sauce without even asking. Oh God! So Jack in the Box, what's the problem? Yeah. Right, it, be, it really be McDonald's. McDonald's be giving you. Yeah, usually Jack in the Box is just give you whatever you ask for. It be McDonald's. What a burger is is terrible about that. They be like, you want a ketchup? You want one ketchup? Oh, they charge you. <laughs> they charge you for some uh, hot. Bro, uh, it's like uh, ninety cents ketchup. or something like that for another right. ketchup. It's something right. ridiculous. Right, but I'm telling you, like for drive through, drive through employees across the world, across the nation, just give them the fucking sauce. It's not worth your life. What if there was no more sauce left? And that's what they told him. They just got so mad. What if that's the thing? Right. You better take your ass to the store with that shit. Drive through a place. They're going to have to end up fucking being strapped. They're going to have to end up having a gun. I'm I'm with that. I'm with that shit too. I'm with that. Because a lot of these. A lot lot of of unsavory types come to the fast food restaurants. Yeah. 
Everybody goes to fast Burger food. Burger King got a Beretta. McDonald's got a Mac, a Big Mac <laughs> behind the counter. And and and, and not <laughs> I got for, a and, Big Mac for you. And not for anything, a lot of like high school and young kids, like that's their first job. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? And like and most of the time, like the drive through is like their, that's their, you know, that's their position where they walk up in there. When I started at McDonald's, <laughs> when I started at McDonald's, I started on the assembly I, line, like assembling really? the burgers and shit. And uh and and frying and uh and uh you know flipping the burgers and shit and then I moved to fries and then I moved to the drive through and then like I you get you like like cashier is like the last stop before you like become like manager in that motherfucker. I worked at yeah. Wendy's. We they just gave us they, you just did everything at once. Yeah. They were just everything like you're, you're just everything. You're just you're just. Wherever. I didn't clean bathrooms though. I didn't do no. I never worked in bathroom. fast food. I never I cleaned a bathroom. At a grocery store. You worked at a grocery store? Yeah, I worked oh, at fries. That's gotta be. Uh, that's gotta be more fun though. It's more fun than. Oh, it was definitely wild. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They at one point gave me a gun to be able to scan shit out. Like products, just like all right, this is no good, and then it's it's out of the system. As like, it's, it's free now because we're gonna, they're oh, supposed wow. to throw it away. I could be like, if it breaks or something like that, like. So it's supposed to be like if something breaks, you can scan it out and they take it out of their inventory as like a loss. Oh, so you would say that? But I was just <laughs> I was just scanning shit every day for lunch. This nigga say you just scanning sandwiches. Have a sandwich, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, but it was that was scanning sandwiches. Yeah, 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 yeah all sorts of combinations of fucking Big Macs. Oh, and I bet your fat spices. ass was. Nigga, what? Oof. Man, in, I'm jealous. I was, I was in that freezer almost every day eating the fucking frozen strawberries and blueberries and shit. Put my hands all in that shit. Uh, this was this was like a decade before COVID. I about to say, who you, knows? You, I probably started COVID. You started shit. COVID, nigga. I mean, but when I was working at the when I was working at uh, when I was working at uh, McDonald's, I was literally making. Uh, Making uh food every day. That's all I ate was McDonald's. And then my and then when I got paid, my fucking parents took my check. Then my parents took your Sw- check. The first one? Shit, they were taking damn near every check. My parents was- took my tax return. No, they, they did it. Pay- what? Yeah. You under you live in their house? Yeah. Oh nigga, you are a passable paying, income. Yeah. You are a passive income at that point. My parents used to do other shit too to, to convince or your to parents trick me. took your check? No, they never took my check, but they would do things to make me pay for. I'd pay for shit. Yep. They'd be like, "Hey, bring here's." I'm, they'd be like, "I'll send you a grocery list. Bring this shit home." I spend two, three hundred dollars on groceries. Yep. And guess what? I'm not getting paid back. Yep. I just provided groceries for the family. What kind of weird ass week. shit is that? Nigga, I, I wish to pay. mom. I wish to fuck you nigga, up, mom. I to, nigga, I used to pay like three, four hundred dollars for. I just play it. I used to pay three hundred four hundred, three, four hundred dollars. For a fucking I never for my pay for rent, my, thankfully. That's, nigga, I used to pay my dad and my mom. I'm a, rent. Mom, I'm on my baby, me, I guess, because uh, I wish the fuck she made me pay hey, for shit until I was like 18. Pay rent? Nigga, after 19, when yeah. I turned 19, my parents were charging me oh, yeah. money because yeah, I had a job. Sure. I, I, think I, I was even working at Walmart home. at the per- I wasn't even at home after 18. Yeah, I was working at Walmart until at that like, point. Yeah. And then you got to go through life trying to figure out what you want to do for the rest of it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God, nigga. I got fired from fucking Walmart. I was late every fucking day. Every day, every I was day. late every day just, to work. Just tardy. You late to work still every day, and I live right up the street. But I had a car. I had to walk up. I had to walk up there. Oh, yeah. so I used to walk every day. Damn. Oh God. You, your legs didn't work th- uh, right all the time, or what? No, I would always leave out fucking fifteen minutes before I walk out there, knowing it takes 25, 30 minutes to get there. Yeah. So fuck it. Just, just oh CP time. Yeah. <laughs> oh color people time. Yeah, man. Whatever works. Buddy as hell. Yeah, man. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Did y'all see the uh, y'all see the uh, the cops uh using the battering ram to get in the fucking ASAP Rocky house? Got to break down. The yeah. Door the For what though? Door was locked. For that shooting? Yeah, he live in a compound. Yeah. So they gotta. That's yeah, how they gotta get in the compound. Hey, that's the way to get in. Gotta break it down. They treat this nigga like a like a first forty eight suspect. Hey, we gotta we gotta uh. Thing that says we can do this legally, so right. Don't do your shit. You, y'all upsetting Rihanna, and she's pregnant. Y'all need to fucking slow your roll. Right, right. I, I, they, uh, they got pictures. Of, they got pictures of their ass out. Like they all right, they all right. But you can tell she's like, she hot. Yeah. I can only imagine. It's a rocky situation right now. You know what I'm saying? Rock. Hopefully he gets out of it ASAP. 
Exactly. Speaking of ASAP, I like they. I think it's some it's some ASAP Ed fighting going on. It's been that way for a few years now. Yeah, I meant to ask you about that. I remember you telling me about that. Like, remember, Ferg, Ferg. Ferg was having some issues, and then there was some other dude that was like not one of the music guys in ASAP, but one of the regular guys in ASAP. He had beef with some people. Right. Barry got in trouble for uh, some Me Too shit. Oh yeah, Barry. He the one. He the one. Uh, he the one is uh, is accusing uh, ASAP uh, Relly for snitching on ASAP Rocky. It's a well, lot of ASAPs. Well, we didn't know that, and you were just telling us that. This also confirmed that Rocky did it too. You also dry snitched in the process. Yeah, that does sound kind of dry snitching, right? Because yeah. you, because you're because you're implying that something did happen, and dude snitched on fucking Rocky. Yeah. You the guy in the group, and somebody goes, "I didn't do it," and then someone goes, "Yeah, you did." You go, "Come on, why'd you tell him?" Like, yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah. It was my word versus his for the moment. And you know, and you know, goofy, it, right? It, but right. you know, but you know what that is. That's 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 what that's why everybody is like on some cloud chasing shit. They want to attach their name to something to, that's something. already that's that's popping right now. Yeah, a hot name. Just have an opinion on some shit, even if it's negative. No matter what it is, uh, yeah, that nigga snitching. You De- didn't have to say that. Deaf to all that motherfuckers you like kept that. that shit, you could have kept that shit a secret, right? You could have kept that God. shit. You could have just just not said anything, right? You could have just shut up, right? And not now, said anything. Now you now you're implying that something did happen. Honestly, none of y'all are important other than Rocky and Ferg. So right, Mm-mm-mm. and yeah. yams, yams, yeah. But right, yams yams. Yams. Lives, so. yeah. I'm just yeah, I'm just clarifying this all. Right, um, the FAA makes it zero tolerance policy permanent for unruly passengers. However, travelers banned for mask violations will have their privileges restored to fly again with Delta. You say that like it's confusing. Yeah. Why do you say it like it's confusing? If you're going to make it uh, not illegal to uh, sell or smoke weed, and you're trying to let out non-offenders for that, for breaking that law, I think this is the same. It's not even a real law. It's a company policy. I don't care. But yeah. it's but it's saying I, I think I think it's I think it's a fair justification. It's that's, saying that's whatever you it's saying unruly motherfuckers. But, but, uh, you're banned. Oh, unruly, 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 unruly passengers. Oh no, no. I'm not talking about just the, I'm, I mean, like like because I would I would think that the the motherfucking people who cause ruckuses on the plane because of the fucking mask yeah. were the unruly passengers. You're right. Okay, now that I'm so how are you yeah. stiffening stiffening fines and imposing all these penalties on the niggas? That you're letting back on the plane. You're right. You're right. You're right. right. That makes sense. What? What? Uh, yeah. What sense does that make? Yeah. Um, sounds kind of productive to me. Counterproductive. Yes. Yeah, but but why? Because you think you think that they're not going to deem anything uh, unruly? Same, no, because it's the same. It's the same. It's the same argument that that uh, that Phoenix said. Like if 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 they are if they are removing the mask mandate. Yeah. And the only reason why I got kicked off the plane is because of the mask mandate that I should have my privileges restored back to me because you've removed the mandatory mask mandate. Well, maybe that's what I that means then. Twice. Yeah, but if you if you wild the fuck out though, right? Then I can, then it doesn't then matter. That, that, that means that you're unruly. Regardless, you just shouldn't be on it. And at the end of the day, it's not like this is a law. Or this is a fucking company policy. So you be I. His spirit up, right? And I and I honestly believe that I honestly believe that. Uh, and, uh, and you know what? There's been a new poll that came out after they uh after they uh removed the mandate, a poll that most Americans would rather wear their mask. Yeah, in at, the airport at the airport. And yeah, shit. Because it's not like people yeah. are not still dying from COVID and everything else. And that's the number one interaction. Yeah. That's that's, that's yeah. number one. Is airports? Yeah. Duh. So, what happened was people realized that oh, I'm sick way less often if I just do this. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I've never been more free of germs in my life than yes. in the by just putting a, yeah in public yeah. places. Right. And the airport be full of nasty motherfuckers. I went so long without getting COVID, and that's because I wore a mask everywhere if I was in public. Yeah. And I didn't drop it below the nose. I didn't do all so that. I didn't do that game shit. Over, yeah, yeah, I don't know why people shit. did that. Yeah, to be to be to be assholes. Defeating the purpose. Like the I wanted to breathe. Bro, the mask mandate exposed the assholes. It exposed the motherfuckers you we said, need to oh, stay for away sure. from. For sure they did. You said yeah. you wanted to breathe, you used to pull it below your nose the whole time? Not the whole time. Well, every once in a while. I got glasses. My shit be fogged up. Yeah, I'm not wearing it above my fucking nose all the time if I don't want to. Nope. Yeah. 
Uh, Rai Rai was on that shit early. He was like, "Fuck y'all, fuck y'all, fuck how y'all feel about it, fuck, and fuck how, how you feel about, about it." Yeah, like I said, you you part of the problem. That's I know, we know you part of the problem. You smoking <laughs> for the fucking hospitals and shit. Four twenty, baby. Whoa! Wow! Oh, my, my baby was born on four fourteen. No nah, man, but uh, yeah. So that's that, I mean that's, that's my that's my thoughts about it. I don't I I just I just think it's kind of counterproductive. Like you stiffening fires, but at the same time, I can I can see I can see how motherfuckers have an argument. Uh, for that, uh, you know what else? Like, I think this streaming shit has gotten out of hand. Honestly, as, as far as it's too much streaming shit going on. Netflix, Hulu, Paramount, Apple Plus, Amazon Prime, Peacock, all this shit. Like, He's a I'm glad I have yeah. cable. I'm so fucking glad I have cable because cable has never has not let me down yet. Hulu. Because you just, basically, just... you basically, in order for you to catch up on every fucking thing that's out there, you would have to be, you would have to have all that shit. Disney Plus. Yes. Netflix and shit. So when Netflix, so Netflix blamed its loss of 200,000 subscribers on password sharing. Cap. I believe that that's cap. And well. even, but what the whole thing is, why is it a problem? Like, it's, I, you, you. We, I could do it for an obvious reason. You're you let me do it. Money, like you get, you raise the rates every year. We keep paying it, and right. we keep right. We keep, it, it was four ninety nine at one point, right? And now yeah. you pay it for four K. And like like the re- and, and that's the re- crazier yeah. too because you can get like that's like Disney Plus doesn't like they offer four K. Not that I'm watching Disney Plus, but like all the places are charging much less, right? But Netflix has been around forever. Like we started this shit. Right. We had the best content. Yeah, exactly. No, still but, no, but lately they don't have the best content. They do not have. The best content when it comes to like movies and shit. HBO Go you overpaid all these fucking actors and shit. That's why you. That's why you really got to raise prices because you overpaid Leonardo DiCaprio and fucking Jennifer Lawrence and Jamie Fox and all these other A list motherfuckers. They taking their talents. The Rock. The Rock's probably fu- you got you paying Come all on. these. You paying Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. You paying these niggas sixty, eighty million dollars a fucking special, nigga. What are like, you doing? He's cool, but that's come on why now. that's why the prices is high, nigga. And now you're talking about putting ads on Netflix. I don't even like like you say, I don't even like fucking ads in porn, nigga. I want to get right to the shit. fucking part. Right. What are we what are we doing? To charge more again because they'll charge you for the ad free version. Oh, okay, go ahead. Pay an extra ten dollars a month for an ad free version. Right. But why so when it's always so been ad free? Bill is almost thirty dollars a month. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Still cheaper than cables, what they'll tell you. I don't yeah, know how much cable costs anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go right back to cable. I, I I have never left cable. I'm about to go back and to cable. And with cable, you get access to the streaming apps. I just need, I just need the SPN. Have. That's all. That's yeah. all I need. Right. I can't watch. I can't. I know. I know. Like I know these like Hulu and all the motherfuckers. I miss have watching sports. SPN. I know Hulu and all. The I don't pay for that sports, version of it. I don't pay for. Yeah, I don't pay for that version either. I pay for whatever the standard fucking version is. If I got right, ain't com- no, if I got commercials, I got commercials. Who I just has got the baseball and somebody's, basketball? Okay. Somebody just gave me their plug in for uh for the YouTube TV. So that's how I've been watching the games. Right. I'm not paying for this shit, so I don't give yeah. a fuck. Yeah. I'm not paying for it. But Netflix, like they said, they go crack they go crack down on that shit, start charging motherfuckers who are out here sharing their passwords. So mm-hmm. but at the same time, like, it ain't cause of that. Like you said, like you said, Phoenix before the pod, by quarter two, by quarter two to twenty twenty two. Netflix is expected to lose two million subscribers, two million. nigga. Yeah, mm. let's see. Everybody's thinking the rates going up. Yeah, and they canceled Bright. And then the movie's not even being that good. It canceled Bright. It canceled Bright, but not because Will slapped Chris Rock. Oh, then why? Probably because it's too expensive, and they just lost two what two hundred thousand subscribers, and are about to lose another two million. No, yeah, it's nah. because Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. We're not this movie. No, we, can't. we ain't got enough people to watch it. The yeah. first one didn't even go that well. It wasn't even all that yeah, bad. Yeah, the first one. I don't give a fuck about That's these what fairies somebody and shit. Went, somebody went up there and said, "Hey, y'all probably shouldn't do this." The first one didn't go over very well. It I was give like, fuck about no fairies and people didn't even get it. Shit. People, didn't so get it. people didn't gay. even get it. They didn't. You didn't. They everyone didn't, uh, didn't get they it. Start and making sure that type of shit doesn't come out, and then extending shit like Ozark. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? This ain't going on for another twenty years. Gross. Right. I'd rather get that than the whole power series. Yeah, y'all can keep Ozark. Y'all Ozark, can... Ozark over this power. Guy, that's a, that's a, that's Ozark, a hot take right locate there. Locate Ozark, Ozark over Snowfall, nigga. You Whoa. can Ozark over Snowfall. What? 
Hey, this season finale. Take is Ozark no and, and blow the fucking show up. Oh, I'm so explosive. A, oh, it's gonna be great next season. I cannot wait. Oh, okay. You know this what? This was a, this was a slow burn season. The little blind, but bitch. a lot it's a of shit. Season. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a setup for sure. But like, it's a, it's a hell of a setup. Oh man, I'm very excited to see Franklin and, and the activities he gets into next season. Because he's no longer being backed by the CIA. I the, think I saw the, some. The gloves are off. I will just oh, say that. Oh shit. Well, we already know what happened to Freeway Ricky. That nigga went to jail for like fucking right. 30, 40 years or some shit like that. But we about to see. We don't know. That's Freeway Ricky. He was doing okay, though. They might go left. They might go left. They might go left. They do whatever they want. It's right, a right, it's right, show. right. Exactly, 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 exactly. Moving on. Uh, the the Brazilian doctor that had to make the devastating choice of uh, chopping off one of the two penises on a newborn baby. Oh, yes, nigga. Brazil got a lot of shit happening out there. Places places that I, I, that I don't give a fuck about visiting. Uh, no no disrespect. Brazil, Mexico, Florida. What? Minnesota, sorry. No, you don't mean it. You, you, you mean you're worried about your visit in Brazil. You're, oh, you want to go. I worry. But you want to go. Had you went there and you know for sure you're just gonna have a wild, a, a, a good time. You're gonna see that giant statue. You can go wherever you want. Before right. Bad, the big ass. Sorry. Right. You're you like, that's, all, that's the, the only fuck reason. Out of that's here. the only fucking reason you wanna go to fucking. Oh my that is the god. The only reason you wanna go to Brazil is, is for the Rio, fucking. It's for the, uh, it's for, the it's for the females, nigga. Yes. Are you kidding me? And Duh. carnival. And, and, and carnival. Yeah. Me too. But at the same time, nigga, you know they got a lot of a lot of STDs. Shout out Brazil. I'm just. Not, I'm not coming there unless I get paid a valuable amount of money that will and even then I might duck it because of that yeah I, I, think think I, only, I don't know I don't know I don't get robbed I'd rather, I'd rather go out there for a business trip or something there's like certain that. things that like I don't know certain countries still that still kidnapped like, out good. there for some shit yeah where like shit at, like don't get me wrong there's plenty of people who go there all the time and it's regular and nothing happens I just feel like a statistic sometimes and I don't want to even put myself in a situation where I could become one I'm right. going to Brazil I don't like going places. I don't like going places where they kill niggas with machetes. I want to go to Brazil in the jungle. All right. You be saying in the that. fucking jungle? I do. I, I want to do all that shit. Go to the jungle. I, I want to do all that shit. Bro, the jungle is the jungle. I know. Like on TV. I like, understand what I just is, said. That shit is worse I want to go. I want to go. Someone thing. take me, please. Hey, hey we're going to drop you off at the jungle. Just Someone please take me. Look. I, look, I go lie. I go lie. I go lie. I go lie. I love Brazil. I love the fucking women. Like they have, they they make the best porn. Brazilian bitches make the best porn. Buzilla? Oh my god. <sighs> Buzilla had to be my my top ten porn for like a year oh straight. Bro, they got the like the the perfect <laughs> asses. But anyway, toddler so, so, born with two penises has the larger one removed mo- by doctors yes, bro. in Brazil. How do, you cut, said, how, do you, how do you cut off the bigger one, though? Well, the urethra of the larger one was too narrow for the urine to pass. Therefore, a decision was made on the functionality and not okay. the size. So that makes sense. the larger penis <laughs> right. had to go, which in my opinion was a dick move <laughs> on the uh, surgeon's part. Very, very much. Like, there's no, nothing, like they said, move. there's nothing that says that men cannot, with duplicate penises, uh, can't have a normal life. I uh, mean, it's just the balls on that guy to cut it off. You the know? balls of that nigga, yeah. <sighs> but listen, you cut oh my, my You cut my one of the pink and two and one of the steak. You cut God. the steak off. That shit is literally nuts. But just saying that you cut off the smaller one doesn't always mean that you have a small one, though. It was just the smaller one. No, it, this Lamar, this was a little boy. That's what I'm saying. So he was like, it's over, like I mean, he was beaten off with both of the motherfuckers, and the parents and the parents was like, no, you gotta cut one of the bitches off. <laughs> and like, yeah, it was just like a double barrel shotgun. Yeah, he had a double barrel shotgun. He had a double barrel shotty. He had a sawed off. I got two rounds for you, shorty. Right. No, did he have a sawed off or is it double? It's double barrel actually, and yeah, now it didn't turn into a. It didn't turn to a single barrel. Yeah. Okay. Which is a rifle, okay. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Young, the youngster from Brazil is one of the million baby boys to be born with a duplicated penis. I just uh, feel like they should so have wild. made it news. So that way when he gets older, yeah, like, y'all told the world I had two dicks and cut my shit off. Oh, he know. I know, but like, why, why did the world the need world? to know? Yeah, they didn't know that I lost one of my dicks. I mean. That was my thing. What if that was going to be my niche in life is that I had two dicks. Oh. And now it's going to be like I'm the guy who used to have right. two dicks. I'm not as cool as the guy who has two dicks. I could come twice as twice. I could come twice as twice as fast. Just, Just like as a twice as long. His nickname is Dickens. 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 Right. 
I'm trying to think about how to make dicks plural. Right. I was going to call him double right. D. No, they call it they, they call it nigga double DP. D. They call it nigga DP. Double oh D. my god. That nigga that nigga that nigga day would be if I, if I if I if I was born with two dicks, nigga, my name would be DP. Do you uh, we, we, you would I'm have to be a wild these hoes. You'd have to be a wild porn star. You you would be you would be like the fucking like circus freak of fucking porn. Porn, hub. yeah. Yeah. And you would be in that college course learning about. Oh you God. Dude. You would that would be the first so we're gonna learn about right. uh You see this nigga with the double penis is called diphylactus or some shit like that. <laughs> Duplicately lock up like this. Right. I don't know, man. I'd be a rapper if I had like for sure. Like if you have two uh, dicks, you gotta rap. <laughs> Just, you gotta, I got two dicks and you still own all of them. The like, bars you're gonna even do. <laughs> I fuck all, all I right. fuck I fuck all you I fuck all you niggas bitches. Fuck all you hoes, get a grip. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Niggas got a fork for a dick. Oh my god. <laughs> Niggas got a grill fork. Got a trident. I got a whole trident. Got a pair of scissors for sure. Yeah. <sighs> you out here, oh here scissoring with bitch. Right. This man out here with a wishbone. <laughs> oh man, a wishbone! <laughs> That's the name of the episode. Uh, fucking wishbone. Oh That's the name of the episode. Shut up. Yeah, man. Uh, let's see here. What else, man? What else? We, what, do we got in, what do we got in music? We ain't heard no music. Yeah, I, I was trying to get to some of that. Um, Southside dropped some new. I know you're a big Southside guy. You Southside know. on the track. Yeah. He dropped a, uh, a new record with Future and Travis Scott called Hold That Heat. Yeah, that, hmm. shit, that shit is some heat, too. That sound like some heat. This feels more like it is a single for Southside, but it feels <laughs> like a soft launch for Travis Scott to come back. That's what it feels like to me. It's like a future rollout because he's got his album coming. He ain't dropped nothing since right. Valentine's Day. Um, but Travis ain't dropped nothing since those. But Travis has died. been quiet. So this is a this is the light rollout. How do people react to this? Yeah, he's forgot. just on the hook for a second. Oh, he does. I think there's a verse. Have we forgot yet? Uh, but still, but all it takes is a good Nobody enough record. Forgot. If the records are good. You're good to stay outside. Right. Keep making good music. And motherfuckers will just forget everything. Yeah. Uh, everyone's favorite uh, football player in the NFL, AB, dropped his album, Paradigm. Where I'm every- not the pit, not the palace. He had everybody on that bitch. He had Fabio Foreign on there. He had the baby on there. He had Young Thug on there. French Montana. 42 Doug. Uh, Keisha Cole. Face. I think Jacquees' name was on there, too. A lot of, lot of, lot of assistance from the industry. Um, okay. Are you here for it? Are you here for an AB album? Do you take him serious? Yeah, as a rapper, I, uh, somewhat. I take I take AB more serious as a football player than a fucking rapper. But Which is, I but I don't blame him for transitioning into rap because that's all rap is a bunch of motherfucking show. It's rock star shit. Yeah, it's yeah. All you really got to do is that's all you got to do is 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 have somebody write your fucking rhymes. You fucking perform it and put. So and put some celebrities on it. But he's he's writing it. It sounds like he's writing that shit. That sounds like some bubble <laughs> gum. From the like pits of the palace. Yeah, that I'm sound that sound like a palace. football player. Woo! That sound like a football player with CTE is writing that shit. None of that shit makes sense at all. Just and has Kanye. Kanye. Ray and has French Montana on it. Huh? We've been hanging out with Kanye too. Yeah, a lot. He's gonna get that Kanye. Kanye waiting for him to step his bars up first. Oh yeah, it's probably helping. him. I don't take him to. I don't take him seriously as a rapper. I won't be running to. I don't run to that shit. But shout out to fucking AB yeah. for uh, for transitioning into. And it's music. not terrible. And it's not terrible. Ooh. That's 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 more off on his brand. If you're gonna transform him into trans, transition, anything we'd like to see that. I mean, yeah. we see rappers cross over into other fields. Right. No, rarely, I, I love to see this doesn't transition. Go into sports. It was, it's happened a handful of times. But like, yeah, Ti and comedy. Cat Williams and rap. He's done it. Like people, Tiffany people size up all the time. People go into act, Snoop Dogg and acting. He's been an actor for a while. Tiffany Haddish about to do music. That's what she Dope. said. She said, "If T I could do stand up, I could do music." Go okay. ahead, go ahead, go step ahead. in that ring. Hey, yeah. Hey, no one say you could. If you think you got, yeah, yeah, exactly. No one saying you can't. If you got good music. Drop yeah, because that you shit. don't want to be. You don't want to be boxed. Into one right, so don't put yourself profession. in a box. But people are going to try and box you in based off of what they like you in the most. Yeah, right. So some people may like your acting and then go, "I don't fuck with your music." There's plenty of people who might like your music, but there'd be a lot of people who may not like it. And so do something else. Your career might suffer for it because if you're doing this more than the other thing, right? If I get big, I'm putting on a country. But album. I'll check out a Tiffany Haddish album. 
I'll check, I'll check it out because she is beautiful. I drive. I and call fuck me, I everybody that say it. Tiffany Haddish is not is is not funny. Tiffany Haddish is hilarious. You got Tiffany. You got Tiffany Haddish fucked up. Who said, Who said that? A lot of motherfuckers say Tiffany Haddish is not funny, and they are crazy. They mm. are no, crazy. she's definitely funny, bro. You, bro you'd, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how many people say Tiffany Haddish is not funny. You'd be surprised how many motherfuckers say Kevin Hart is not funny. It's all cap. That is cap like a motherfucker. Right, you can't you, say that. You mean not like everything Kevin Hart does, but you, you just got oversaturated for, with Kevin Hart. He's yeah, still funny. Yeah. Hey, imagine getting a divorce, right? And then you catch Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Are you still divorced? Like, like, or just, yes. a, just imagine though. Like well, you, you get a divorce. It's a get, pr- divorce is a process. But when you have to get a, a lawyer, it yeah, has to be finalized. But, and but you just wake up every day still thinking you marry. You go over to her house every day, like. <laughs> Lee, we got fucking divorced. Then your kids don't love you. Lee, we got fucking divorced. Your At that point, if you're doing that, somebody in your life, hopefully, don't give a fuck about has a you. handle you're just on wandering you. Around. You, they're going to put you in a home. You're, yeah. just, you're just wandering around. Right. That's grounds for right. entering a the home. Police, the police has the, like, this is your fourth arrest. Right. What are you doing over here? What are you From doing over here, Lee? Yeah, you just. You, right. At that point, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you divorced. Should be but evaluated you by a doctor shit. immediately. Like I, it's like I don't remember having. I don't have right. remember having those kids. Right. I, I saw this joke. Anthony Jesselnick. Anthony Jesselnick did a joke oh, yeah. about Alzheimer's. A dude with Alzheimer's. He said, "I live my I live next door to a guy with Alzheimer's. He came over every day asking about his wife, and and every and I, and as much as I wanted to leave, I couldn't <laughs> because every day that I reminded him that he's divorced, no, that his wife died." I cannot, I cannot, uh, I can never forget that smile that he has on his face or some shit like that. He like, I can't forget that smile. I can't just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even though the dude had Alzheimer's. He still was but cool. But it, it wasn't until, you know, Anthony, Anthony Jesselnick reminded him that his wife died that he's like, oh, yeah. And he starts smiling like, oh, yeah, I forgot that bitch dead. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony joy. Jesselnick, oh my he's God. up there when it comes to, like, white comedians. That nigga is a. Who's that? Menace. I don't know his by his name. Anthony Jesselnick. He's like he they, like check out any of the Comedy Central roasts over the last decade. He's been like he's on those ones. He's been like the monster of damn near each and every one. He has Anthony, Anthony what? And Jeff Ross. Anthony what? Dryest tone. Jesselnick. Yeah, Anthony Jesselnick. He has and the he dry, is but he is. Killer. But it, they are hilarious. He is a. Killer. And they are dark. And he's a killer. Oh, he looks funny. A fucking killer. Him, he's a killer. Uh, Andrew Schultz is a fucking yeah. killer. Yeah, and, and Andrew Schultz is hilarious. Like, as far as, like, niggas that out here, like, white dudes that's out here, like, that are killers, those motherfuckers are killers, nigga. And they'll say Round something. of applause for them niggas, like, oh, God. Like, I fucks with them niggas. And they comedy Seinfeld tough. killer. <laughs> they some dogs on that motherfucking stage, nigga. But uh, let me see. Other than that, uh... What else do we have to discuss? Because I don't think I have anything else. Uh, oh, yeah. Trey Songs. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Trey Songs accuser comes forward, shares video of alleged assault. Basically, uh, Trey Songs exposed the breast, pulled a titty out. Did a, and she released a video. Did a Justin Timberlake on her? Yeah. Yeah, did a Justin Timberlake, Janet Jackson on her. So, like, is Trey the new R. Kelly? Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Which one of y'all? Yeah, I got some bottoms up. I thought I think I saw something on Twitter where uh, Rory from the Rory and Ball show. Yeah, I saw where he was like, "Yo, 15, 20 years from now, we are going to we are going to hear some wild fucking stories about Trey Songs, and this gonna end up being on some surviving Trey Songs type shit." Ooh, yeah. that's fucked up. Because if enough enough females say that shit is true, nigga, that shit is that usually true. true. That shit is yeah. fact. That's usually true. Yeah, and that is again, becoming the that is becoming the. Running fame for yeah. this nigga, bro. Say he a big creep. It's just what he do. It's just weirdo shit. Yeah, just creeping all the time. Man. Yeah, I is think that how that way? Way. I think this is ugh, it's bad. It's definitely bad. It's not looking good. Come for Trey on, Song. Trey Songs, man. You right, like, right, like right, you, uh, no weirdo. Come on, get out of here. No like, weirdo stop. shit. You a good looking dude. You can sing. You be dancing ass off. You got money. You got Why some you swag. Have to be lame like too. Like, 
That's just some lame ass shit. Like you're, you're. A, what, uh, what am I missing here? Why are you not getting no pussy? I mean, both like, why you gotta hey, take it? It's always the R and B niggas that that be the the crazy. Be a creep. These these rap motherfuckers the, talk about killing niggas all the time, but it be these R and B niggas that be out here beating listen, bitches up and all. Pussy, rejection. pussy is a drug. These motherfuckers don't get rejected for shit. Oh yeah, like sex yeah. is a drug. Like there's bitch, some sex bitch, addicts out there. Bitch, ain't no nigga care high notes like me. It's that, it's that, that bruise to the ego. I'm about to die. When a girl doesn't want to fuck them. Oh yeah. Because every girl just says yes. Yeah. Look at August Alcina. Oh, bitch, we didn't fuck. Okay. It's take a bit. Why you July? Yeah. <laughs> so look, it's just not looking good. It's yeah. Not looking good. It's bad out here for Trey songs. If I have Trey songs, I don't go hide. Right. Because you're done for. If this is all true, you're done. Yeah, you ain't been. Yeah, you you over here getting. We seen arrested. that video. That was already some weird activity. Damn, man, who's man? Like, well, shit. Speaking of Trey Song, man, who's downfall are y'all are y'all anticipating on seeing? LeBron James. What? He's so quick to say that. Come on, man. LeBron James. Why? Just everything about him is from Ohio. Damn. Uh, <laughs> hey, our fans in Ohio do not like. Ohio him, will beat the, the fuck out of everyone in Arizona. Hog. You gonna stop? You gonna, I don't even you shit on Arizona dissing, like you that. Dissing, yeah. you, can't, you live here. You huh? can't shit on the place you live. Right. So why are you sitting on Ohio? I don't live there. So I what was it ever doing to you? I mean, I shit up most. You days. intimidated by me. That's why you hate Ohio. Is that what it is? Mm. I just hate Ohio. That's why you hate Ohio. No one's intimidated. What other reason? No why, one, why, would, why would you just pick randomly Ohio? But Ohio, I hate Ohio because you're from their best friend. No, nah, that's some hold, on, <laughs> hold on. That's some hold on. Like that's some hater ass shit to like prey on somebody downfall. But when you take, when you talk about downfall, let's let's like let's kind of put it in context. Like who y'all get tired of? Y'all can't wait for them to just disappear. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, who's yours? Trump. Trump. Mm. You can say Trump, right? You can say Trump. Ron DeSantis, the fucking uh, the governor of Florida. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, nigga. Uh, go away. Get out of here. Uh, uh, Mitch Anybody Mc... with the last name Clinton. What's that one, nigga? Um, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, that racist motherfucker. Get him the fuck out of here, nigga. Every black Republican that's, that's against the everything. Little, the little cool. white dude that got off with the shooting at the... Uh... Oh, Rittenhouse? Him. Oh, yeah. 6 9 I can't wait. 6 they... 9 oh, Bro, my God. I six can't nine. wait six till nine, they hands catch down. that, nigga. 6 9 Oh, my God. That's got to be the number one. I six can't nine. wait for them to catch that pussy. Yeah. It's the first rap we jacked. Right. Whoa. Pause, first of all. Pause. I can't wait for them to get that, nigga. The fuck out of here. 6 9 I'd probably say 6, six, six 9 a lot, people, a lot of people, a lot of people think Trey, Trey on his way up out of here. Damn, it's a lot of niggas. It is a lot of motherfuckers. It's only their way up out of here. Ben Zeno. Mm. They are. Ben Z and Ben Zeno. Yes, because Ben Zeno hate How you hate on your own daughter? Yeah, man. That nigga, that nigga uh, 50 Cent says, uh, stop that Coyle Ray hate or he will make her show up on your TV. You know he Ooh. will do it. He said the same shit. I've been thinking about Monique Ch and chess moves. He said, "I'm Lee definitely." out here apologizing this shit. He said, "Chess right. moves." I'm definitely gonna have you uh, where you don't, where I don't want you. You know what I mean? Like hit you where it hurts. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah. Oh, your daughter go fuck with me. Right, Benzino. right, right. Ben right. Zeno, Ben Zeno. Who are you? Honest. Who are you? Like you washed up. Ben Zeno, Eminem killed you. Right. Oh my God. I remember when he got mad at me. Ben Zeno. Yeah, Ben Zeno tweeted me once. What do you say? I was really talking about Eminem, and I tweeted out that Eminem should have taken his own advice, like when he told Benzino nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap because Eminem's old now. I'm He's weak. not good anymore, in my opinion. He's never and been Benzino good. thought that I was talking about Benzino should just stop everything in life, I guess, and spazzed on me on Twitter. And, spazzed. Yeah, and then deleted it all like five minutes later, <laughs> and that was it. Like he's off from Boston. You better leave me the fuck alone, all right? He's from Boston. Yeah, he's from Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he pox the cod off, God. Yeah. Yeah, he's a Southie fucking. Uh, he's a fucking Southie he's a rat. Fucking Southie. Ah, Benzino, you like you like a Southie project motherfucker. According to motherfucking uh, Benzino, he said fifty the rat. He called nigga fifty nine. Benzino nine. built like a fire hydrant. <laughs> he looked like just like a that fire. Nigga built like a feet. No, he built like a poodle. He built like some like mean ass dog. That boy looked like a fucking fire hydrant to me, just sitting right. there. Nigga, got the, the nigga he got the, weird hair. Right. 
And he talking about he want to scrap this nigga fifty two. It looks like his you face had. It looks like his face had braids before. You know, like after you had braids for a long time and your and your skin oh, looked like all stretched. He looked like he had his face like for a long time in his life. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's on that nigga like too is, long. That nigga. Congratulations, you're a guy who used to own the source. Nigga. Yeah, so sixty nine, Benzino, LeBron James, I guess. No, I ain't praying for LeBron. I mean, not on, not to that level. Well, I want them to disappear. That, you wait on this nigga LeBron James. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm ready for him to get out the league. <laughs> oh, it's coming. It, he said, hey, LeBron said he 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 dealt with he dealt with this missing the playoff shit. It hurt. All right, well, right. Like a kick of the nuts. Oh Jeez, God, he bro. don't like that shit. Good. Maybe he needed that. Like later he said, on. I'm years. not gonna miss the playoffs, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win. Either. I think he needed that for for the potential mm-hmm. of another ring. Mm-mm-mm. I don't think there's any more potential that left for a ring. Maybe. I I would I wouldn't go that far. All right. Not if you let him GM the team. We'll find out. We'll find he's out he's always GM to fucking every single I know season. We'll find out next time. He didn't GM the Heat. LeBron he didn't do that to the Heat. He showed up and the Heat were already there. That's the only team he didn't GM to like get everybody over there. Right. Yeah, Eric Spolstra, he was, a, he was actually coaching over there. Right. So LeBron's won two rings where he didn't put the team together and two rings where he did. So the two rings that he did took forever to get. Regardless, hey, he got him. And, and, and some, and some. I, I hate when people always be like, "Oh, he went to multiple teams." Like that's a bad thing. No, that's a good thing. He's went to multiple teams. Yeah, but at the same and time, still got but, a ring. But at the same time, at the same time, he is. Um, no, that's a good re- thing. He's responsible. No, that's a good thing. He's responsible for this player empowerment shit. Well, that's what the fact KD that these did. motherfuckers can. Uh, the fact that these motherfuckers can choose where they want to go. They could be toxic to the organization. Absolutely. So and you're saying they should get the choice? I believe they should. I believe they should get the choice. But I feel like I feel like it's. Got not a hand, like these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers of, are where literally, you want to go? Yes, these motherfuckers are literally. What? These motherfuckers are literally becoming cancers in order to get removed. I don't. The team. I don't like that they're fucking being cancers. Zion, Zion, motherfucking. So then, uh, obviously, ben not, Simmons. So obviously, they're, they don't have the uh, ability to just say I want to get traded. They have to act like a fucking yeah. four year old. So they, 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 you're so they under don't contract. have the ability. There. You're under contract. You're There's under contract. They can't. So they should have the, the ability that way they don't have to act like that. trade request whenever they want. But without that being, team. yeah, it's up to the right. team. And without that, granted, if the team goes, shut the fuck up. Yeah. What am I going to do? I'm going to start acting like an ass to make sure that you don't yeah, get me the fuck out of here. I don't want to be here. Because that's how the game was. It was like, it was like you had to, you have to, like, the teams went moving, what on, moving your yeah, ass. You getting traded, and, and that's where you're going. It's business. They don't care. They you have you, you have no right. say so over exactly. that. Exactly. But at the same time, that's what that's what LeBron James. That's why LeBron James did what he did. Because like he was like, "Fuck y'all. Y'all can trade us whenever y'all feel like it. But whenever we say, oh no, I want to fucking make my own moves and move somewhere, go somewhere else, is a problem. Mm-hmm. Or we'll right. see where the market is for me. Right. So like so so low, so so Jay so so even though even though LeBron James what he did was good, the gift in that. Uh, there was a curse of that as well because now everybody is doing that shit. Yeah, I think no, I think it, I think it failed more but so. But people than who his shouldn't be part. doing that shit are the ones doing that. Shit. Right, like ben these niggas are literally really these Simmons, niggas are not. Right. These niggas, yeah, these niggas are literally not. You even don't play playing. good enough to do this. I'm not right. okay with that. I'm not okay with the temper tantrums. Like yeah, yeah, fucking load management and shit. What is all of this? What are y'all doing? Not playing anymore? These motherfuckers ain't even playing no more. Flopping on the side of yeah, yeah. Not, not showing up, showing not up, not even the, showing Anthony up. Davis, all of them, they're just missing. Everybody missing games. Yeah, I'm niggas not, I'm not, not okay with that. With the team, niggas, niggas not returning text practice. messages. Yeah, niggas not showing up to practice with showing up to practice with phones in their pockets. Listen, when AI right. when right. AI wasn't going to practice, he was coming in and winning them games. Right, you ain't winning them games. So we we got to talk about practice. What you think he was doing? You think he was smoking or just living his life? Ooh, AI. AI? AI yeah. was definitely out gambling. He was out here doing. He was out here doing. I yeah. definitely feel like he like went out. Like most and NBA hit, players do, all was, niggas yeah, gambling. Yeah, he hit the motherfucking streets real quick and just threw some dice. Yeah, and he's Allen Iverson, so Allen Iverson, he's gonna get paid off of his. Probably they, went to they, a jeweler. They, they like this for the rest of his life. Right. Right. He had a list of shit he was doing that was outside of that. Yeah, but it when I mean, it, but when it comes to, when it becomes a uh, player empowerment, like LeBron James started all that shit. Look at look at fucking uh, Kevin Durant. Like look at look at James Harden when he left Houston. He had to basically he had to basically diss these niggas at press conferences to get moved to yeah. fucking Brooklyn. Look what he did to Brooklyn. Yep, fuck that situation up. Look what Kyrie is doing. Look what he did. Oh, I'm not fucking playing if I have to get a shot. I'm not fucking playing. No, I don't want to do that. No, shit. I want to do that. Look at look what he did. Look look look. Why does why does the Boston Celtics hate this nigga? Because he said hey, that I was coming, him. I he said I was coming back to the Celtics, but he ended up going to fucking Brooklyn. He never said when, though, did he? 
He did. He said specifically that that when he was, he was like when he was the, the, the 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 year that he was yeah when his contract year came up he was like I'm I'm returning Boston to Boston is a city that will not forget. Yeah, they don't forget. We don't like you. Right. Yeah, but uh, other than that, I don't, there's nothing else that I really give a fuck about. No, nah, uh, we talk about other stuff next here, time. But uh, you know, like I said, shout out to everybody tuning in to the podcast each and every motherfucking week, man. Yo, yes, listenership sir. is appreciated. Uh, make sure that y'all follow us on YouTube. Get our subscribers up, man. Uh, make sure that y'all follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Highly Culture Pod. Higher Culture Pod. Uh, we the highest podcast in the motherfucking world. I'm your highest motherfucking podcast host in the motherfucking world. Lee, you can follow me on Instagram primarily at Butler underscore underscore Lee. God damn it. This should be a Phoenix. You can find me on mm-hmm. all social media at that guy Phoenix. It's Ra Ra. You can follow me at It's Ra Ra Davis on IG. And what are we going to do, Ra Ra Show? Stay high stay and stay culture. Yeah. I didn't do this stuff. I didn't do it. This is not me. I'm fighting for my Is the life. slippery whore that I donated my jizz to for a while. Stay What the fuck is a slippery whore? <laughs> We go the hardest, gon' love us regardless Gon' see us wherever the top of the chart is When you in the game, they can't call you a vulture Everything kosher, cause we highly culture Whatever is poppin', you know that we stand on top of these words, can I stay in my conscious? Who do it better? No one come to know shit Gon' be top voted, cause we highly culture Yeah, we highly culture Gotta talk to the culture The players better talk to the coaches Y'all already know who the code is Cause we highly culture Gotta talk to the culture yeah. Greatest remarks on the net They gon' have to give us respect Yeah Cause we highly culture, we highly culture. We highly-